Welcome, and thanks for meditating with Abide. I hope that you find rest and deep sleep as you listen to this Bible reading from the book of Psalms. For more Christian meditation, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Welcome to this bedtime story from Abide. This sleep meditation is written from the scriptures to help you relax and fall asleep. Please take a moment to get comfortable. Adjust the pillow, pull up the covers, and settle your mind on peace and rest. The end of a long day is here. It is time to rest from your work and responsibility. For now, your only job is to focus on peaceful sleep in the presence of the Lord. Take a deep breath in and release it slowly. Feel the tension leave your body as you relax every muscle. Inhale and exhale a few more times, releasing all lingering thoughts to the Lord. Now, Invite the Holy Spirit to be with you as you sleep. Ask Him to cover you with His peace. Love, joy, and peace are part of who God is. By His Spirit, He releases these fruits into your life as well. Welcome His presence to be with you and abide in the fruits of His comfort tonight. Feel the warmth of the covers and the stillness of your surroundings and close you with a sense of calm. Breathe in and let it out. Tonight, I will tell you a comforting story about the gift of God's favor. And just in case you are wondering, God's favor is the undeserved grace that He chooses to give because He loves and delights in us. So, settle your mind on the gift of God's love and delight over you. Receive His undeserved grace and know that He loves you with an everlasting love. Now, please allow me to pray over you. Good and gracious God, I pray for this listener tonight, your beloved child, who is resting in your presence and seeking the gift of your favor. Thank you for being with them. Please calm their mind and rein in all the thoughts that are not of you. Cover them with the warmth of your love and help them know that they are held by you. In the name of your Son, Jesus, I ask for the gift of your favor to be revealed to them as they fall asleep. Please remind them that your presence alone is a divine blessing. Help them feel safe and secure in your love and provision tonight. Thank you, good Father. It is in the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. As we hear this sweet meditation from Psalm chapter 5, I encourage you to allow the words to stream over you and through you as living water for your soul. As the psalm of David begins, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Allow the meditations of your heart to be poured out freely to the Father. He hears you, even when you don't say a word. He considers everything about you. As Psalm 40, verse 5 says, Your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. 
Your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. Rest peacefully in the knowledge that God thinks about you. His thoughts toward you are more than can be numbered. Thank you, God, that you would keep us in mind, that your thoughts over us are too numerous to count. We are so undeserving of you, yet your word reminds us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We are humbled by the gift of your favor, the gift of your love and mercy. Thank you, Father. We love you. In Jesus' name. Continue to rest peacefully as I share a story, a narrative of God's gift of divine favor. A young man walked along the beach at night. He was praying and seeking God's will for his life. And as he walked, he looked for a sign of God's favor. As he stood at the ocean's edge, letting the cool water lap over his feet, he looked up at the moonlit sky thanking God for his magnificent creation. He marveled at the fact that God knew each star by name, stars as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Then something in the distance caught his eye. It was a unique star formation, one he had never seen before. The stars were in the unmistakable shape of a cross. And as he gazed upon that cross in the night sky, he immediately sensed the Lord say, My dear child, I have given you everything through my son Jesus. I have given you everything. The gift of God's favor has been poured out on us through the cross of Jesus Christ. Rest in the shadow of the cross tonight, knowing that God has provided everything for you. The young man's life was changed that night. All clouds of uncertainty were lifted away, for he knew that he only needed to look up and find what he had been looking for all along, peace and favor in Christ Jesus. Feel the clouds lift away as the Holy Spirit reminds you of the divine favor you have in Christ. Be covered in his peace tonight. The gift of God's favor is unmerited and undeserved. Yet, through His Son, it is given freely to all who would receive it. Receive the gift of God's favor through Jesus tonight. Heavenly Father, giver of all good things, thank you for giving your child the gift of your favor tonight. Thank you for reminding them of your Son and His sacrifice on the cross. Please, Lord, help this beloved person rediscover your divine favor, the gift of salvation and hope in you. Bless them, keep them, guard and guide them as only you can. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I will pray. The cry of the young man's heart was heard by God. All of his prayers were poured out to the Father on the moonlit beach that night. And by God's grace, he was reminded of what he had already been given. My King and my God, to you I pray. Rest in the presence of your King and your God. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. Better is one day in the house of the Lord than a thousand elsewhere. Feel the holiness of his presence as you envision being in the house of the Lord, kneeling before his throne. 
Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Make your way straight before my face. God's righteousness was given to us through the sacrifice of his Son. In Jesus Christ alone, we are shown the way. All the crooked places are made straight. Every confusing idea is clarified in him, and we know that he will make his way clear before our eyes. Breathe in and let it out. Rest in the righteousness of Christ. Lord, please make your way straight for this beloved person tonight. For your way is good, and your will is pleasing. Straighten all the crooked places and restore this child as they sleep, as they surrender their lives to you and rest deeply in your presence. Please cover them in the multitude of your mercy and the gift of your favor. In the name of Jesus, amen. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. The gift of God's favor is truly a gift unmerited and undeserved his love delights our souls and through his limitless grace and mercy he gives us the gift of his favor rest in god's grace and mercy tonight breathe deeply of his love for you exhale in the calm presence of his spirit Lord God, consider this beloved child tonight. Gently remind them of what you've already given them. Speak over them in hushed tones and lull them into a deep and peaceful sleep. Thank you for assuring them that you are with them. And thank you for the gift of Jesus the Savior. It is in his name I pray. Amen. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. And I will look up. For the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you that we can always look up and find you. Let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. Feel the blessing of God on your life through the gift of his favor and his presence as a shield. Rest peacefully tonight. Holy God, keeper of our souls, please keep this beloved child in the fold of your arms tonight, right where they are. Cradle them in the gift of your favor. Be their shield and their protector as they sleep. Help them dream of heavenly things, things that are promised for them. Continue to show yourself in the wonders of creation and remind them that through your Son, they have received the gift of your favor forever and ever. Amen. It is no coincidence that Psalm 119, the longest chapter in the Bible, is found precisely in the center of the Scriptures. Center your thoughts on the word of the Lord tonight. Center your breathing on his holy presence. In and out, 
breathe deeply of God's truth, love and peace. In our chapter tonight, we will find rich truths about who God is. We will find holy comforts for those of us who are lost and searching. And we will find consoling passages that reassure us of God's constant presence. He is not far away. He is not a distant God who cares nothing for his people. He is near to those who cry out to him, and we are always within his reach. Heavenly Father, thank you for being near. Your constant presence is what we need most in this life. Your love, peace and goodness are what we seek. Keep us, Lord, safe, secure and protected. Draw us to your side tonight. In Jesus' name, Amen. This psalm is written as an acrostic poem, which means that each of the stanzas begins with a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And while the author of this chapter is unknown, we know that the author and perfecter of our faith is the one who spoke the scriptures to his people so that his words would be recorded for all generations. Hear the voice of the author and perfecter of your faith tonight. His word is trustworthy and true. Inhale the truth of God's word. Exhale all other thoughts. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your living word spoken over us tonight. Your words are like manna to our dry and weary souls. They pour out like honey and are sweet to the taste. We hunger and thirst for your righteousness. Open our ears to hear and our hearts to receive. In Jesus' name, Amen. Take another deep breath breath in and let it out. Release the events of the day and allow them to fade into the background as you open your heart to receive the living word tonight. God is within reach. At the mention of his name, he is with you. Whisper the name of Jesus. Jesus. Allow your breathing to settle into a soft, measured rhythm. In and out in and out. And now we hear the words of the psalmist placed intentionally in the center of the Bible. Psalm 119 verses 169 to 174 
Let my cry reach you, Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my plea reach you. Rescue me according to your promise. My lips pour out praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue sings about your promise, for all your commands are righteous. May your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your instruction is my delight. Dear one, be comforted within his reach. Rest in the understanding that he is God. His promises are true. His spirit teaches you all good things. The righteousness of his commands lead you, help you, and instruct you in the night. He hears you. He is not far away. He cares about everything that concerns you. Remain in the presence of the Lord as I pray. Heavenly Father, please search the heart of this dear child tonight. Set them free from all worries, fears and anxieties. By the gentle guidance of your Spirit, lead them to trust you. Please reach through the darkness and capture everything that keeps them from resting in you. Please hear the cry of their heart and reassure them that you are near. In the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray. Dream now of heavenly things. Set your mind on things above. In the Old Testament, there is a beautiful passage about a dream that Jacob had as he was sleeping under the stars with a stone for a pillow. The dream went something like this. A stairway was set on the ground with its top reaching to the sky and God's angels were going up and down on it the Lord was standing there beside him, saying, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your offspring the land on which you are lying. Your offspring will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out towards the west, the east, the north and the south. All the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. Look, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. The Lord is in this place. 
feel his presence. He has provided a stairway for you, a stairway to his side, and the name of the stairway is Jesus. Jesus is the way to the Father. He is the bridge. Through the gift of his life, Jesus made a way when there seemed to be no way. With each step on the stairway of faith in Christ, we are one step closer to eternity with him. Let that imagery bring you great comfort tonight. Inhale and exhale. Rest. Remain. You are within his reach. Heavenly Father, full of kindness and compassion. Please bring comfort to your child tonight. Please remind them that they have been given direct access to you. Like the stairway that Jacob dreamed of, they have a stairway through your son, Jesus. Thank you so much for allowing your children to reach you any time, day or night. Thank you for always being within reach. In Jesus' name, Amen. And the psalmist says, Let my plea reach you. Rescue me according to your promise. My lips pour out praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue sings about your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let my plea reach you, O God. Let every word reach you. Let my supplications reach your throne of grace. His statutes, his promises, and his commands are righteous. In him there is no darkness at all. Sleep peacefully in the light of his presence. Inhale and exhale. Holy God, full of truth and light, surround your child with peace this very moment. As they sleep, remind them of your statutes, your promises, and your commands. Replace all worries and concerns they might have with your sweet sweet promises. Thank you, Father. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for the righteousness that covers your beloved one as they rest in your presence. Amen. May your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your instruction is my delight. May your hand 
be ready to help me. Feel the comforting hand of the Father covering you with layer upon layer of peace and protection. He is your help in time of need. Beloved, you are within his reach. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your instruction is my delight. Oh, how we long for your salvation, Lord. We long for the day when we will see you face to face. We look forward to the moment when every eye will see and every tongue confess that you are Lord. We long for your salvation. Holy God, by the power of your Spirit, counsel us with sound guidance. Let your precepts be a delight to us, a pure delight. Help us to know that you are Lord over everything in our lives. Assure us of your faithful presence through every season. In the precious name of your Son we pray. Dear one, you are within God's reach. His arm is not too short to save. At the mention of his name, you are held. Be held tonight by the one who redeems you. Be held. Gracious God, I pray over this beloved person tonight as they sleep peacefully in your protective care. With each breath in, I pray that they are cleansed by the power of your Spirit. And with each breath out, I pray that they are released from every burden. Thank you for keeping them within your reach. Thank you for opening the way to heaven, the way to eternity with you. For it is through the perfect sacrifice of your Son that you made a way. Continue to make a way for this child as they take one faithful step at a time. Each one getting them closer to a life of eternity with you. In the holy name of Jesus, I pray these things. Amen and Amen. Now, let's unwrap the gift of sleep tonight. Imagine a beautifully wrapped package handed to you by your loving Creator. He encourages you to untie the ribbon and just let it fall away. He guides you to remove the wrapping and set it aside. He waits patiently as you open the box to discover a beautiful gift, the gift of sleep. Spend a few quiet moments embracing this gift with a heart of thankfulness to the one who loves you and cares about you.
please let me pray over you tonight thank you good father for the gift of sleep thank you for knowing just what your beloved child needs at the end of a long day help them release every worry and concern to you tonight please cover them with your peace and protection so they can fully relax and find true rest in your presence I pray this in the precious name of your son Jesus amen sleep is the cessation of labor it is the time of day that we let go of every unfinished task we surrender it to the hands of the father he will take care of it he will guard what we have committed to him take a moment to commit everything to God whatever remains undone it's okay let it go rest peacefully in the Savior tonight don't worry about a thing he's got this he's got you often when sleep eludes us it's because we're holding on to the cares of this life we struggle to let go of them because we struggle to trust God we forget that God is the head of our households he is sovereign over us as the psalmist says in Psalm 127 unless the Lord builds the house those who build it labor in vain unless the Lord watches over the city the watchman stays awake in vain dear one the Lord is watching over you tonight there is no need to stay awake with your worries or concerns for the Lord does not slumber nor sleep he will keep watch over you rest in that comforting thought for several moments the psalmist goes on to say that it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night anxiously working for food to eat for God gives rest to his loved ones God gives rest to his loved ones you are loved by God he has given you the gift of sleep it overtakes you from head to toe you feel your whole body relax you close your eyes and take a deep breath in and slowly let it out what beautiful gifts our father gives to those he loves assurance peace relaxation security and sleep embrace his gift of sleep tonight as I pray 
let it become the prayer of your heart Heavenly Father thank you for your gift of sleep and what a precious gift it is I am so thankful for your presence tonight your love comforts me your gift of sleep restores me thank you Lord I believe you are sovereign over all things over my life my work and my rest I release all of my anxieties to you thank you so much for gifting me with peace and rest tonight in Jesus name amen now sink your head deeper into the pillow and pull the covers around you allow your breathing to fall into a steady rhythm in and out in and out feel the gift of sleep envelop you like a soft cocoon gently it wraps around you securing you in the loving arms of the father like the cocoon of a butterfly sleep begins to encase you in soft silky warmth the strands of God's peace enclose you in the gentlest way possible for he is a gentle father kind and good from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet you feel safe guarded and secure rest in the security of God's love for several moments sleep is a gift for our bodies for it allows processing restoring and strengthening to take place as we drift through sleep cycles our minds are able to process the day's events we are able to organize information file it away and remember what is most important each cell in our body benefits from sleep it rejuvenates us repairs our tissues and restores us from a long day of hard work oh what a beautiful gift from our Heavenly Father he knows just what our bodies need he created us he created sleep rest in that assurance for a few moments not only do our physical bodies need sleep our spirits need God's true rest in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 we read about God's promise of rest which comes through faith in Jesus Christ for we who have believed do enter that rest we who believe we who trust we who put our faith in the Savior of our souls 
we enter God's promise of rest settle your heart on that promise for a few moments now invite the Holy Spirit to be with you tonight above all else his presence is what you need most to find peace and rest just knowing he is covering you protecting you and calming you is enough to help you sleep soundly tonight take this moment to rest quietly in the Lord's presence now let's pray holy God it is your presence we seek tonight above all other comforts we ask for the covering of your peace please bless your beloved child with quietness and rest help them release all worried thoughts and concerns to you steady their breathing into a soft rhythm with each breath help them remember you the one who guards them and protects them as they sleep thank you Lord for anointing your child with your presence and it is in the precious name of your son that I pray amen if you've ever heard the word anointed before it may have been in the sense that God anointed certain people to be set apart to serve him in fact Jesus himself talked about anointing in Luke chapter 4 when he said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor the anointing of the Lord is precious and purposeful settle your mind on God's anointing for several moments in the Old Testament Moses was given a recipe for the holy anointing oil the Lord told him in Exodus chapter 30 to take the finest spices of myrrh sweet smelling cinnamon aromatic calamus cassia and olive oil these were valuable spices that the Lord called Moses to gather he wanted only the finest ingredients for his holy anointing oil the purest of myrrh also called the myrrh of freedom in Hebrew sweet smelling cinnamon a rare spice that was much valued in that region aromatic calamus from the reed of a plant that grew close to the water God was specific about choosing the finest spices and from these spices Moses was commanded to make a holy anointing oil an ointment blended according to the art of the perfumer to be used as an oil of consecration inhale the sweet smelling aroma 
of the holy anointing oil as it fills the room. This holy oil was used to consecrate the tabernacle of meeting, the ark of the testimony, and the altar of incense. In order to make them holy for the service of the Lord. Not only that, Aaron and his sons were anointed with oil to be sanctified as priests unto the Lord, that they might minister before him all of their days. This holy anointing was a symbol of being set apart for God. Set apart. Let those words sink in for several moments. Now, please hear this prayer of anointing. Holy God, we come humbly before you, seeking the anointing of your presence. We long to be set apart for you. In all things, Lord, we offer ourselves in humble surrender. For in you we live and move and have our being. Please cover us with the sweet fragrance of your holy anointing oil tonight. Settle our hearts and minds in the presence of your love and grace. We seek true rest in you tonight. Deep, peaceful, uninterrupted sleep. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Psalm 45, a psalm of love and declaration, we read these words about God's anointing over His Son. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. All your garments are scented with myrrh and aloe and cassia, out of the ivory palaces by which they have made you glad. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you. Rest in the holiness of these words for several moments. All your garments are scented with myrrh and aloe and cassia. The scent of his garments were covered in the holy fragrance of God's anointing oil. Each strand of Jesus' sacrifice was woven into place by the good, pleasing, and perfect will of the Father. Just as a person weaves beautiful tapestry, ensuring that each thread appears in its proper place, God the Father wove His perfect plan through the life of His Son so that we could live for eternity with Him. Allow the tapestry of God's love and grace to secure you in his peace tonight. God has anointed you with the oil of gladness. Joy and contentment fill the room. The anointing oil of gladness rests on you like a comforting blanket. All worries fade away they are replaced with God's perfect peace. Oh, how good it is 
to abide in the peace of God's holy anointing abide here now in the oil of gladness for several moments this beautiful passage in Psalm 45 describes the Lord Jesus as the anointed one your throne O God is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom your throne O God is forever and ever the security of knowing that God is on his throne allows us to rest assured that he is in control over everything that concerns us he reigns above every earthly kingdom God rules let the eternal comfort of God's sovereignty settle deep in your heart for several moments we continue to hear about the precious anointing of Jesus as the psalmist writes you are fairer than the sons of men grace is poured upon your lips therefore God has blessed you forever gird your sword upon your thigh O mighty one with your glory and your majesty and in your majesty ride prosperously because of truth humility and righteousness fairer than the sons of men grace poured upon your lips with glory and majesty because of truth humility and righteousness rest in those beautiful descriptions of the Lord Jesus grace was poured upon the lips of Jesus that he would in turn bestow his grace on us oh what mercy what grace and what forgiveness we cannot comprehend the depths of his love for us for you even the deepest part of the sea is not deep enough to hold the grandeur of God's love for us for all eternity we will draw upon the waters of the Savior's love and drink deeply from the well that never runs dry hear the continual flow of living water flowing from the throne of God's grace dear one Jesus was anointed to bear our sin and shame he fixed his eyes on the cross out of his unwavering love and mercy over us his ultimate sacrifice is the foundation of our holy anointing by his grace through faith we are saved not by our own works but by the gracious gift of the father breathe deeply a breath of thankfulness to the God who saves Jesus our Savior holy and anointed one anointed with grace anointed with glory anointed with majesty our God reigns forever and ever rest in his glory tonight O Lord our Lord how majestic 
is your name in all the earth we praise you for you are king of kings and lord of lords there is no one like you in your righteousness you reign forever and ever and in that truth we find peace by your anointing we are yours you are true to your word and you never fail us you lead us in truth and righteousness thank you God we praise you in the name of Jesus my friend as you drift off to sleep in the peaceful presence of the Lord there is yet another anointing I would like to remind you of it is far greater than the fragrant oil poured out in the tabernacle it is the everlasting anointing of the Holy Spirit of God for the word says it is God who establishes you in Christ and has anointed you he has also put his seal on you and given you his spirit in your heart as a guarantee his spirit is in your heart as a guarantee settle your heart and mind on the Holy Spirit tonight this beautiful anointing by the Holy Spirit is not to be taken lightly this anointing is the very hand of God on our lives the very same Spirit who raised Jesus dwells in us God has anointed us sealed us and inscribed on our hearts the guarantee that we will be with him forever God's promises are immovable unchangeable and unfathomable he has put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee breathe deeply in that unchangeable immovable blessing right now therefore God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions all your garments are scented with myrrh and aloe and cassia out of the ivory palaces by which they have made you glad with the sweet smelling aroma of God's holy anointing oil surrounding you with peace breathe softly in and out take in the fragrance of myrrh cinnamon and cassia as a soothing balm of peace and gladness God is with you he loves you he covers you with his presence most holy God we receive your anointing hand upon us tonight we rest in the presence of your Holy Spirit in the stillness of the room we breathe in the fragrance of your love you are holy and just we abide in your holiness now hushed and settled for you alone lead us to safe and quiet places 
thank you father thank you for your anointing over us by the seal of your spirit on our hearts in Jesus name amen now hear the melodious words of these lyrics from the worship song holy and anointed one let them wash over you with comfort and peace Jesus Jesus holy and anointed one Jesus Jesus risen and exalted one your name is like honey on my lips your spirit like water to my soul your word is a lamp unto my feet Jesus I love you I love you Jesus Jesus holy and anointed one rest in perfect peace under the anointing of Jesus the holy and anointed one feel the hand of the Father as he pours his oil of consecration over your life you are set apart for him you are sealed by his spirit for all eternity rest in that truth remain in his presence receive his anointing Heavenly Father we bow before you tonight before your throne in humble adoration we remain here in your presence there's no place we'd rather be father we want nothing more than to be set apart for you to walk in your ways and to honor you thank you good father for anointing your precious child with sleep tonight in your presence they are comforted and loved as you stand watch over them in the night watches they can sleep soundly knowing that you are with them thank you for covering them with your spirit they will sleep peacefully in your presence dreaming of your fragrant anointing oil making them clean whole and set apart for you in Jesus name I pray amen King David once said truly my soul silently waits for God tonight wait silently for the Lord's presence to fill the room breathe in and out and receive this calm quiet moment of peace wait for God's presence to fill your heart mind and soul he covers you with his love he guards you with his protection he guides your soul into peaceful rest and assurance breathe deeply in and out close your eyes and rest he's with you he loves you in him your soul finds rest whatever emotions you're feeling at the present exhale them and release them to the Lord breathe in and out 
deeply, peacefully, settling your thoughts on the protective arms of the Savior. He's with you. Tonight, your soul will find rest as you wait on God and feel His presence in the room. Be at peace and relax. Sink deeper into the pillow and let all thoughts fade away as you prepare to hear the beautiful truths of the scriptures. The words of David as he pours his heart out to God. Tonight, I invite you to pour out your own concerns to God. Release them. Let go of them. Let your soul find perfect rest in His presence. Release all of your strivings and pursuits of earthly gain to Him. He alone is your rock, your salvation, your everything. Now, listen to these comforting words from Psalm 62, verses 5 and 6. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence. For my hope is from Him. He only is my rock, my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. In God alone, you will find rest. Wait. Relax. Be at peace. And know He alone is your rock. He alone is your salvation. He alone is your fortress. You're safe with Him. You are sheltered in His presence. In the midst of every trouble, He's with you. You're secure in His salvation. He's built a wall of peace around you. To protect and guard you. Oh Lord, I pray for the listener of this bedtime story that in you alone they will find hope, rest, and peace. Help them, Lord, to wait for you in silence peaceful expectation. Help them to release every concern to you and find perfect rest tonight. Help them trust in your guidance, in your holiness, and in your sovereignty. I ask for their safety tonight as they breathe deeply of your presence and your protection over them. Thank you, Lord, for securing them in your salvation and for building a fortress of love around them, surrounding them with your peace. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Continue to breathe deeply in and out, in and out, sinking deeper into the pillow and allowing yourself to drift into a perfect state of rest. Let God's peace wash over you from head to toe, letting go of all worry. 
feel the shelter of God's presence surround you like a tall fortress that cannot be broken know that he's guarding you tonight as you sleep deeply without a single care or concern he's with you he's comforting you he's watching over you as you sleep in peace in him your soul finds rest now listen to the scriptures again from Psalm 62 verses 1 and 2 truly my soul silently waits for God from him comes my salvation he only is my rock and my salvation he is my defense I shall not be greatly moved God is your defense you can release everything to him he's got your life in his hands he is with you you shall not be moved as you rest securely in him rest deeply in his provision rest completely in his salvation gracious God I pray for deep rest and peace over your beloved tonight Lord place your hand over them as they sleep help them to know you are near father assure them that you alone are their rock and their salvation comfort them with your love and secure them in your presence help them to feel completely safe in your arms unmoved resting deeply in Jesus name feel the calm presence of the Holy Spirit in the room as you breathe deeply as you allow him to cover you with his love God is with you he is your rock you will not be moved feel his presence now be reminded of his gentleness his compassion his grace He's sheltering you with a fortress of safety and protection. You can fully depend on him. You don't need to trust in riches. God is your treasure. He is your confidence. And he will not disappoint. Breathe in and out in and out rest sleep be at peace God is with you he is your rock your salvation in him your soul finds rest now hear the words of David from Psalm 62 verse 5 from the New Living translation let all that I am wait quietly before God for my hope is in him tonight let all that you are wait quietly right here in this room rest 
listen for his still small voice and put your hope in him you can trust him he loves you he is with you in the silence in the waiting God is with you do not fear do not worry you are safe in his loving arms with all that you are wait quietly before God Holy God thank you for this precious person resting in your presence tonight I ask that you breathe your life and hope into their soul I pray that you cover them with your mercy and grace and guide them into a deep and wonderful sleep thank you for your presence your peace your holiness in Jesus name continue to breathe in and out softly deeply resting fully in God's grace let everything fade away let your thoughts drift into silence waiting resting as you breathe deeply in and out you hear only the quiet voice of his love as he surrounds you with his presence you wait silently before God and put your hope in him your very life is in his hands his word rests deep in your mind your soul finds rest your soul finds rest in him your soul finds rest he's with you he loves you he is your rock your salvation your fortress you will not be moved you are secure in him in God your soul finds rest Lord put your hand on this beloved person tonight let them sense your presence here assure them of your protection of your constant help in their life give them peace and rest and sleep perfect peace perfect rest wonderful sleep remind them of who you are their rock their salvation their fortress just as King David set his heart on you help your child focus on your presence tonight lead them into deep sleep and help them know you are here in the silence you are rest for their soul you are rest for their soul in Jesus holy name Amen King David once said truly my soul silently waits for God tonight wait silently for the Lord's presence to fill the room breathe in and out and receive this calm quiet moment of peace wait for God's presence to fill your heart mind and soul he covers you 
with his love he guards you with his protection he guides your soul into peaceful rest and assurance breathe deeply in and out close your eyes and rest he's with you he loves you in him your soul finds rest whatever emotions you're feeling at the present exhale them and release them to the Lord breathe in and out deeply peacefully settling your thoughts on the protective arms of the Savior he's with you tonight your soul will find rest as you wait on God and feel his presence in the room be at peace and relax sink deeper into the pillow and let all thoughts fade away as you prepare to hear the beautiful truths of the scriptures the words of David as he pours his heart out to God tonight I invite you to pour out your own concerns to God release them let go of them let your soul find perfect rest in his presence release all of your strivings and pursuits of earthly gain to him he alone is your rock your salvation your everything now listen to these comforting words from Psalm 62 verses 5 and 6 for God alone O my soul wait in silence for my hope is from him he only is my rock my salvation my fortress I shall not be shaken in God alone you will find rest wait relax be at peace and know he alone is your rock he alone is your salvation he alone is your fortress you're safe with him you are sheltered in his presence in the midst of every trouble he's with you you're secure in his salvation he's built a wall of peace around you to protect and guard you oh Lord I pray for the listener of this bedtime story that in you alone they will find hope rest and peace help them Lord to wait for you in silence in peaceful expectation help them to release every concern to you and find perfect rest tonight help them trust in your guidance in your holiness and in your sovereignty I ask for their safety tonight as they breathe deeply 
of your presence and your protection over them thank you Lord for securing them in your salvation and for building a fortress of love around them surrounding them with your peace in Jesus holy name I pray continue to breathe deeply in and out in and out sinking deeper into the pillow and allowing yourself to drift into a perfect state of rest let God's peace wash over you from head to toe letting go of all worry feel the shelter of God's presence surround you like a tall fortress that cannot be broken know that he's guarding you tonight as you sleep deeply without a single care or concern he's with you he's comforting you he's watching over you as you sleep in peace in him your soul finds rest now listen to the scriptures again from Psalm 62 verses 1 and 2 truly my soul silently waits for God from him comes my salvation he only is my rock and my salvation he is my defense I shall not be greatly moved God is your defense you can release everything to him he's got your life in his hands he is with you you shall not be moved as you rest securely in him rest deeply in his provision rest completely in his salvation gracious God I pray for deep rest and peace over your beloved tonight Lord place your hand over them as they sleep help them to know you are near father assure them that you alone are their rock and their salvation comfort them with your love and secure them in your presence help them to feel completely safe in your arms unmoved and resting deeply in Jesus name feel the calm presence of the Holy Spirit in the room as you breathe deeply as you allow him to cover you with his love God is with you he is your rock you will not be moved feel his presence now be reminded of his gentleness his compassion his grace he's sheltering you with a fortress of safety and protection you can fully depend on him you don't need to trust in riches God is your treasure he is your confidence and he will not disappoint breathe in and out in and out rest sleep 
be at peace God is with you he is your rock your salvation in him your soul finds rest now hear the words of David from Psalm 62 verse 5 from the New Living Translation let all that I am wait quietly before God for my hope is in him tonight let all that you are wait quietly right here in this room rest listen for his still small voice and put your hope in him you can trust him he loves you he is with you in the silence in the waiting God is with you do not fear do not worry you are safe in his loving arms with all that you are wait quietly before God holy God thank you for this precious person resting in your presence tonight I ask that you breathe your life and hope into their soul I pray that you cover them with your mercy and grace and guide them into a deep and wonderful sleep thank you for your presence your peace your holiness in Jesus name continue to breathe in and out softly deeply resting fully in God's grace let everything fade away let your thoughts drift into silence waiting resting as you breathe deeply in and out you hear only the quiet voice of his love as he surrounds you with his presence you wait silently before God and put your hope in him your very life is in his hands his word rests deep in your mind your soul finds rest your soul finds rest in him your soul finds rest he's with you he loves you he is your rock your salvation your fortress you will not be moved you are secure in him in God your soul finds rest Lord put your hand on this beloved person tonight let them sense your presence here assure them of your protection of your constant help in their life give them peace and rest and sleep perfect peace perfect rest wonderful sleep remind them of who you are their rock their salvation their fortress just as King David set his heart on you help your child focus on your presence tonight 
lead them into deep sleep and help them know you are here in the silence you are rest for their soul you are rest for their soul in Jesus holy name amen the Lord sustains and protects you as you sleep he is a shield guarding you throughout the night he is the reason you have no fear that's God's promise to you and it was God's promise to King David 3,000 years ago too David was in danger and on the run yet in the midst of this he knew God would protect and provide for him he rested in God's peace David wrote I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me King David wrote Psalm 3 after he and his court had fled Jerusalem in the middle of the night tragically his jealous son Absalom was leading a rebellion that was trying to dethrone David eventually they even tried to kill him but in the midst of this King David's faith remained strong let's take a journey back in time to 1000 BC and experience David's peace and joy in a story based on Psalm 3 and 2 Samuel you'll see how God provided for him and you'll be encouraged by knowing that the same God who provided for and protected David does the same for you as we enter our scene in ancient Israel a reddish orange Sun is rising in the east just over the distant dusty hills it's beautiful the temperature is cool but not cold there's a slight breeze blowing in from the north and you can smell the distinct aroma of lilies in the air you're a member of King David's royal court and you are tired even a little worried you fled Jerusalem in the middle of the night but why didn't God put David in power doesn't God protect his anointed everyone including King David is grieving you don't know what the future holds everyone is also hungry in the rush to escape Jerusalem most of the food was left behind King David has ordered everyone to stop walking for a moment you spot him in the crowd at 60 years old his face has aged since he took the throne 30 years ago still these wrinkles look more like wrinkles of wisdom than worry people closest to him say he's a man after God's own heart he prays often and even now as you stare at him he appears to be deep in contemplation and prayer perhaps asking the Lord for guidance suddenly he opens his eyes and speaks let's keep walking he says you put one foot in front of another 
wishing you could rest a little longer but you trust your king as David and the rest of the royal court slowly descends the Mount of Olives a stranger appears guiding two donkeys the animals are loaded down with the strangers goods this man has blue eyes a long black beard and a tall wooden staff as you get closer you realize it's Ziba a former servant of King Saul my king Ziba says addressing David I heard about your trouble I bring provisions your eyes quickly study the goods loaded on the donkeys it's enough food to feed King David's court several times over your heart is filled with joy God has provided a servant counts the food there's 200 loaves of bread 100 bunches of raisins 100 summer fruits including apples and pomegranates and a skin of wine hallelujah someone exclaims King David and Ziba speak for a few minutes and then one of his servants passes out the bread then the raisins and then the fruit you take a large bite of a juicy red apple and savor the flavor just might be the best food you've ever had <laughs> and it gives you much needed energy a few moments ago you were dejected but now you are filled with optimism the living God the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob has once again taken care of his people David speaks to the group we need to keep moving but first let's worship the living God who has provided this food David begins singing he's written a new psalm to God Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people King David often writes music but this song has special meaning to you and the others it encourages you it gives you hope King David looks at you and the others in your party urging you to join him as he sings his new psalm again Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side 
arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people you sleep well that night knowing God is guarding you several days have passed since Ziba delivered his provisions since then you've traveled by foot far from Jerusalem and across a variety of landscapes in Israel over dry barren land through a lush green forest and just the other night across the Jordan River you had forgotten how beautiful the land of Israel is no wonder your ancestors labeled it a land flowing with milk and honey no wonder they called it the promised land still you miss your hometown of Jerusalem you've prayed each day for God's deliverance but so far God has chosen to let King David live a life on the run perhaps God is teaching David a spiritual lesson perhaps God is teaching you something too as you hear this prayer from Psalm 51 feel yourself relaxing falling back and surrendering yourself into the loving and forgiving arms of Jesus releasing the weight of your worldly cares as you focus on the lightness of the gospel the good news of the death burial and resurrection of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ let me pray for you now O peaceful and heavenly father you give this one your child sleep for the refreshing of their soul and body grant this one this gift tonight I pray keep them in that perfect peace which you have promised to them whose mind is fixed on you and give them such a sense of your presence that in these moments of silence they may enjoy the blessed assurance of your love through you O peaceful and loving Father, be merciful to this one, O God, because of your constant love. Because of your great mercy, wipe away their sins. Wash away all evil and make them clean from their sin tonight. Tonight, let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness. Create in them tonight a pure heart, O God. Give them again the joy that comes from your salvation. God grant this one peace so they can sleep soundlessly and awaken with a renewed spirit ready to face the day ahead in Jesus's name amen feel Jesus's embrace feel Jesus whispering his love and care for you tonight as you sleep as you continue to relax I want you to pace your breathing as I read scripture to you as I read the first part of a passage I want you to very slowly breathe in and then as I read the second part of the passage I want you to breathe out listen as I read from Psalm 46 breathe in slowly now as I read God is our refuge and strength now breathe out slowly as I read and a very present help in your times of trouble Pace your breathing in and out slowly again as I pray over you from Deuteronomy 31. Breathe in. Be strong and courageous. And out. Do not fear or be in dread. And in slowly. For it is the Lord your God. And out. Who goes with you. In. He will not leave you 
out or forsake you in the darkness now feel the presence of Christ feel the strength of his arms around you feel the tenderness of his hands as they rest on your head relax into his presence pace your breathing slowly as I pray from Luke 12 breathing slowly and don't be concerned about what to eat or what to drink don't worry about such things these things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers but your father already knows your needs seek the kingdom of God above all else and he will give you everything you need so don't be afraid little one for it gives your father great happiness to give you the kingdom dear peaceful father bless this one tonight bless them give them your peace smile upon them and give them your rest tonight in Jesus' name amen pace your breathing slowly as I pray from Lamentations 2 Lord God hear my cry out into the night at the beginning of the night watch help me pour out my heart like water before you help me lift my hands to you dear peaceful father take the burdens of this your child tonight their burdens can seem so heavy at times tonight help them feel lighter more free content safe and loved in your arms as you take their burdens in Jesus' name amen pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 3 and 4 I lay down and sleep safely in peace with a tranquil heart I will lie down and sleep for I am alone with you O Lord help me dwell in safety and confidence and trust in you dear peaceful father give this child tonight restful sleep and let this time of quiet meditation bring them peace relaxation and sleep in your arms Lord fill this night with your radiance for them may they sleep in peace in your name amen pace your breathing as I pray God's Word over you when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet when you lie down no one will make you afraid many will rejoice with you when you lay down you will be at peace you will sleep for the Lord keeps you safe when you lay down to sleep behold there is an angel touching you at this your sleep will be pleasant to you dear peaceful father you have given this your child an example of gentleness and humility a task that is easy and a burden that is light accept my prayers to give them the rest that will strengthen them to be of more faithful service to you in Jesus' name amen pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 62 for God alone my soul waits in silence I quietly submit to him for my hope is from him he only is my rock he only is my salvation he only is my fortress he only is my defense I will not be shaken I will not be discouraged on God only my salvation rests on God only does my glory rest God is my rock God 
is my unyielding strength my refuge is in God alone I trust confidently in him at all times Oh God help me help me sleep help me pour out my soul be my refuge pace your breathing as I pray from Isaiah 26 God will keep you in perfect and constant peace tonight God will make your mind steadfast committed focused on him tonight trust God tonight with your sleep take refuge in God's loving arms tonight as you see sleep be confident in the arms of your Savior tonight trust confidently in God forever God is your fortress God is your shield God is your banner God is everlasting he is your protector tonight he is your rock for all time dear peaceful and restful father bring this one your child rest and sleep tonight keep them from tossing keep them from turning Lord God you never sleep Lord God you never slumber so watch over this your child tonight as they sleep bring peace to their churning mind comfort their mind from spinning soothe their heart calm them tonight give them sweet rest in your arms in Jesus' name amen pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 91 God is covering you tonight God is completely protecting you with his strength you are protected under his wings tonight you can find rest under his wings tonight you can find refuge in the loving arms of God tonight God's faithfulness is your shield tonight God's faithfulness is a wall protecting you from harm so you can rest tonight in God's presence tonight in God's arms you have no need of fear tonight you are in the presence and resting in the arms of the creator of the universe tonight dear peaceful and restful father let this resting child feel your wings over them tonight as they rest let this sleeping child feel the shield of your arms protecting them from fear and harm tonight let this peaceful soul feel the wall protecting them from harm tonight the wall built lovingly by you the creator of the universe the creator that sits now by the side of this child as they sleep in Jesus' name amen pace your breathing as you listen to the story from Luke 8 breathe slowly and deeply as you imagine yourself in the boat Jesus and his disciples are all around you you hear Jesus tell you to prepare prepare to cross over the Sea of Galilee you watch as Jesus falls asleep Jesus your Savior curls up in the boat to sleep you sit next to him you lean on him as your Savior rests the wind begins to hit your face the spray from the waves you begin to feel water at your feet you wake up your master who is sleeping you see the look of peace in his eyes you are in awe of that peace Jesus waves his hands perhaps without taking his eyes off of you you feel the wind stop the waves are gone Jesus whispers to you my child have faith in me my child believe in me you feel yourself falling asleep in his arms as his peace surrounds you 
dear peaceful and restful father give this child tonight your faith give this child tonight your peace no wind in their face no mist from waves no water at their feet let them hear your peaceful voice let them hear your loving voice your powerful protecting voice a voice that calms storms a voice that brings peace a voice that brings rest sleep pace your breathing as you listen to the Word of God being prayed softly over you breathe slow and deep as you hear God's words for you tonight as you lay down to sleep do not be afraid tonight as you lay down tonight let your sleep be sweet in peace God will be with you tonight as you sleep you are not alone God is with you and you will be safe as you sleep tonight God will give you his beloved peaceful sleep tonight God will give you sleep God will give you slumber he will fold your hands as you rest you will lie down to rest tonight you will rest peacefully you will wake up in the morning fresh for the Lord sustains and cares for you God will not let you move tonight you will be at peace he will be there for you all night because God does not slumber or sleep he stays with you so that you can sleep dear peaceful father thank you for your peace your care your love your mercy your salvation as this child of yours finds sleep tonight as they sleep let them feel your presence over them let them sleep under your wings and it is in Jesus' name I pray over them amen the psalmist expresses his love for the Lord because God hears and answers his children when they call to him throughout the Psalms he recalls the many troubles and sorrows he has already encountered and how gracious and compassionate the Lord has been to him the Lord heard his cry and the Lord rescued him in the 138th Psalm David expresses gratitude to God this Psalm helps us focus on the Lord's goodness I will praise you O Lord with all my heart I sing your praise I will bow down toward your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness for you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame when I called you answered me you greatly emboldened me May all the kings of the earth praise you Lord when they hear what you have decreed may they sing of the ways of the Lord for the glory of the Lord is great though the Lord is exalted he looks kindly on the lowly though lofty he sees them from afar though I walk in the midst of trouble you preserve my life you stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes with your right hand you save me 
the Lord will vindicate me your love O Lord endures forever do not abandon the works of your hands as you snuggle further into your bed your body sinks deeper into your mattress may God bring you holy rest imagine yourself outdoors on a warm and pleasant day you're standing near a pond of water that is calm and clear the surface smooth as the evening hours draw nigh the night sky provides a covering for your holy rest crickets begin to chirp alerting you that it's time for sleep the fading Sun is warm on your face the sunlight casts a peaceful palette of colors that dance across the shining surface of the water there is not another person in sight you slowly reach down and pick up a flat stone just like when you were a child you sidearm toss the stone across the water amazingly it skips not one two or three times but nearly a dozen you haven't lost your touch the water is so calm the stone hardly causes a ripple that same calm of the pond comes over you sending soothing and cleansing trickles of relaxation down from the top of your head in every direction to soothe heal and cleanse every muscle and cell of your body you continue to gaze at this pond nestled in among the tall pine trees just outside a mountain village this pond of water its peace causes you to become calm and restful you turn away from the pond and follow a little pathway that takes you to a perfect place a place where you can be by yourself and feel calm and comfortable and rest under a tall tree others have been here before you because you spot a fire circle near where you're sitting the smooth stone surrounding ash from previous fires like sentinels stacks of kindling and wood stand nearby you put your youthful skills to work again to start a small fire within just a few minutes the dry kindling glows bright igniting the larger pieces of wood the tall tree and its piney aroma ah, make the perfect spot to find holy rest your tensions begin to melt away the busyness of city life you hear the sound that surrounds you there's bullfrogs night birds chirping the crackling of the fire stirred by a gentle cooling breeze eventually amongst the bird calls you hear a gentle voice singing a beautiful song seems to be coming from the trees 
you hold very still as you listen the words coming to you gently on the breeze I have loved you with an everlasting love the voice sings with unfailing love I have drawn you to myself your heart sings with this sweet voice as it continues the Lord is good to all he has compassion on all he has made as you search the woods with your eyes for the bearer of that voice you see a figure dressed all in white emerge from the woods you have no fear because the words of their song have filled your heart with joy and peace as the figure walks towards you the singing continues the words for the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations finally they are close enough for you to recognize it's Jesus he comes closer still singing of his love for you and he sits beside you to the fire your heart bursts with joy your Savior and Lord is here by your side you sing in response sovereign Lord you are good your covenant is trustworthy and you have promised these good things to your servant the sweet dialogue between you continues with his words and your response as you sit side by side in perfect peace he says taste and see that the Lord is good oh blessed is the one who takes refuge in him you respond the Lord is good a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust in him Jesus smiles into your eyes your beloved brother your Savior your friend your heart exults in God your Savior you close your eyes listening to his words over you but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint for I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid do not be discouraged you lean into Jesus as he continues to sing and your eyes grow heavy you find yourself falling asleep deeply soundly peacefully as the Lord places his arm around you you know you're safe you know you're loved this is holy rest in the arms of Jesus listen as I read from Psalm 46 breathe in slowly now as I read God is our refuge and strength now breathe out slowly as I read and a very present help in your times of trouble 
pace your breathing in and out slowly again as I pray over you from Deuteronomy 31. Breathe in, be strong and courageous, and out, do not fear or be in dread, and in slowly, for it is the Lord your God, and out, who goes with you, in, he will not leave you, out, or forsake you. In the darkness now, feel the presence of Christ. Feel the strength of his arms around you. Feel the tenderness of his hands as they rest on your head. Relax into his presence. And again, pace your breathing slowly as this time I pray from Luke 12. And don't be concerned about what to eat or what to drink. Don't worry about such things. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your Father already knows your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and He will give you everything you need. So don't be afraid, little one, for it gives your Father great happiness to give you the kingdom. Dear peaceful Father, bless this one tonight. Bless them. Give them your peace. Smile upon them. And give them your rest tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing slowly as I pray from Lamentations 2. Lord God, hear my cry out in the night. At the beginning of the night watch, help me pour out my heart like water before you. Help me lift my hands to you. Dear peaceful Father, take the burdens of this your child tonight. Their burdens can seem so heavy at times. Tonight, help them feel lighter, more free, content, safe, and loved in your arms as you take their burdens. In Jesus' name, amen. Your eyes grow heavy reading for a deep, restful sleep. Again, pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 3 and 4. I lay down and sleep, safely, in peace, with a tranquil heart. I will lie down and sleep, for I am alone with you, O Lord. Help me dwell in safety and confidence and trust in you. Dear peaceful Father, give this child tonight restful sleep and let this time of quiet meditation bring them peace, relaxation, and sleep in your arms. Lord, fill this night with your radiance for them. May they sleep in peace in your name. Amen. Slow breathing in and out as I pray God's word over you. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. When you will lie down, no one will make you afraid. Many will rejoice with you. When you lay down, you will be at peace. You will sleep. For the Lord keeps you safe. When you lay down to sleep, behold, there is an angel touching you. At this, your sleep will be pleasant to you. Dear peaceful Father, you have given this child an example of gentleness and humility, a task that is easy and a burden that is light. Accept my prayers to give them the rest that will strengthen them to be of more faithful service to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 62. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. I quietly submit to him. For my hope is from him. He only is my rock. He only is my salvation. He only is my fortress. He only is my defense. I will not be shaken. I will not be discouraged. On God only my salvation rests. On God only does my glory rest. 
God is my rock. God is my unyielding strength. My refuge is in God alone. I trust confidently in Him at all times. Oh God, help me. Help me sleep. Help me pour out my soul. Be my refuge. Dear peace and restful Heavenly Father, send restful sleep and refresh the tired body of this your child tonight. May your help renew this one. Keep them held tight in your strong arms as you give them peace. Be with this one throughout the night. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Isaiah 26. God will keep you in perfect and constant peace. Tonight, God will make your mind steadfast, committed, focused on Him tonight. Trust God tonight with your sleep. Take refuge in God's loving arms tonight as you see sleep. Be confident in the arms of your Savior tonight. Trust confidently in God forever. God is your fortress. God is your shield. God is your banner. God is everlasting. He is your protector tonight. He is your rock for all time. Dear peaceful and restful Father, bring this one, your child, rest and sleep tonight. Keep them from tossing. Keep them from turning. Lord God, you never sleep. Lord God, you never slumber. So watch over this your child tonight as they sleep. Bring peace to their churning mind. Comfort their mind from spinning. Soothe their heart. Calm them tonight. Give them sweet rest in your arms. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing as I pray from Psalm 91. God is covering you tonight. God is completely protecting you with his strength. You are protected under his wings tonight. You can find rest under his wings tonight. You can find refuge in the loving arms of God tonight. God's faithfulness is your shield tonight. God's faithfulness is a wall protecting you from harm so you can rest tonight. In God's presence tonight, tonight. In God's arms, you have no need of fear tonight. You are in the presence and resting in the arms of the Creator of the universe tonight. Dear peaceful and restful Father, let this resting child fill your wings over them tonight as they rest. Let this sleeping child fill the shield of your arms, protecting them from fear and harm tonight. Let this peaceful soul feel the wall protecting them from harm tonight. The wall built lovingly by you, the creator of the universe. The creator that sits now by the side of this child as they sleep. In Jesus' name, amen. Pace your breathing as you listen to the story from Luke 8. Breathe slowly and deeply as you imagine yourself in the boat. Jesus and his disciples are all around you. You hear Jesus tell you to prepare. Prepare to cross over the Sea of Galilee. You watch as Jesus falls asleep. Jesus, your Savior, curls up in the boat to sleep. You sit next to him. You lean on him as your Savior rests. The wind begins to hit your face, the spray from the waves. You begin to feel water at your feet. You wake up your master who is sleeping. You see the look of peace in his eyes. You are in awe of that peace. Jesus waves his hand, perhaps without taking his eyes off of you. You feel the wind stop. The waves are gone. Jesus whispers to you, my child, have faith in me. My child, believe in me. You feel yourself falling asleep in his arms as his peace surrounds you. Dear peaceful and restful Father, 
Give this child tonight your faith. Give this child tonight your peace. No wind in their face, no mist from waves, no water at their feet. Let them hear your peaceful voice. Let them hear your loving voice, your powerful, protecting voice, a voice that calms the storms, a voice that brings peace, a voice that brings rest, sleep. Hear the peaceful words from Psalm 143 as a comforting lullaby tonight. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Listen to the voice of God's unfailing love tonight. Be still and listen. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Hear the call of your Savior drawing you to his side. Feel the warmth of his unfailing love. He is asking you to trust him. Lord Jesus, we sense the nearness of you tonight. We feel the gentle pull of being drawn to your side. And there is peace. There is no place we would rather be. Please, continue to draw us away from the things of this world, the worries, the strain, and the uncertainties of life. As your beloved, prepare our hearts to meet with you, commune with you, and be faithful to you alone. We rest in your loving presence tonight. Amen. And David says, Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Show us, Lord. Show us the path of your righteousness. When we don't know which way to go, point us in the right direction. When we find ourselves at the crossroads, take us by the arm and lead us. We surrender ourselves to you. Surrender your entire being to the Lord tonight. Heart mind, soul, and strength. Yield to the one who leads you and guides you. Breathe in and out. Give yourself fully to the Lord. He is with you. He will lead you in perfect peace. Lord, please lead this beloved one into a peaceful state of rest and peace. 
as they surrender everything to you, cover them with the assurance that you are with them. Sing over them tonight, sweet melodies of your unfailing love. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the words of David, he says, Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Rescue me. Save me. Redeem my life. Let those words draw you even closer to the Savior tonight. Lord, I run to you to hide me. Run to the arms of the Father. They are open wide to receive you. Hide in the shelter of His holiness. Like a child in the protective embrace of a loving Father. Rest in the holiness of the Lord. Under the warmth of your covers, safe and secure, feel your body relax in the presence of your Savior. Lord God, thank you for the holiness in this room. Thank you for shielding this beloved child from all outside thoughts and distractions. Please help them find refuge in you tonight. A gentle place to rest. Embrace them as they sleep, hiding them in a shelter of your wings. In Jesus' name, Amen. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Teach me, Lord. As my mind processes the events of the day, teach me your will, your way. Hear God's peaceful instruction in the night. He speaks to you as a kind and gentle Father. Teach me to do your will. God's will is always for his glory and your good. Won't you rest in his good, pleasing and perfect will tonight? Breathe in and out. Inhale the precious will of the Lord. Exhale all other thoughts. Lord, we know that you alone are God. Your way is perfect. Help this child rest tonight, knowing you have their best interest in mind. Help them to rely on your instruction and your guidance. Filter out all other thoughts as they rest deeply in you. In the precious name of your Son, Amen. The time of singing has come. It is the voice of the Messiah singing over the redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Imagine Jesus singing the praises 
of the Father. His voice is rich, pure, holy, and radiant. Our Savior sings a solo of love over us. The Messiah stands before the assembly of believers and sings a final song of redemption. Hear his song of redemption over you tonight. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Lord, open the ears of your beloved one to hear of your unfailing love. Fill their hearts with songs of redemption. Sing over them as they sleep. Bend their ears to hear your voice tonight. In Jesus' name. Come away with Jesus tonight. Follow the way, the truth, and the light. Hear his song of joy and delight. Come away, beloved, with Jesus tonight. Breathe softly. Allow your breath to become a sweet harmony in perfect cadence with the Lord. Together, this evening lullaby becomes a duet. You and your Savior singing in beautiful harmony. Holy God, we are humbled to be in your presence tonight that you would invite us to join you in singing this evening lullaby. We are humbled and blessed. It is your voice we long to hear above all other voices. Thank you for singing over us. We receive your words as a precious lullaby, soft and sweet, lulling us into a deep and peaceful sleep. In your name we pray. The time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The turtle dove a small dove known to be a symbol of pure love and devotion. Its soothing call is heard throughout the land, reminding the hearer that there is one who loves them with a perfect love. Hear the peaceful call of the turtle dove tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the reminder of your love. How often we forget that even in the darkest night, your love remains. We cling to scripture that says, neither height nor death nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for this assurance and thank you for your immovable love. In Jesus' name. May your gracious Spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Gracious Spirit, lead me forward 
on solid ground, lead me in your way. Breathe in the sweet-smelling fragrance of the Holy Spirit. He is with you. He comforts you with His love. You find peaceful rest in His presence. Inhale and exhale. For the glory of your name, O Lord, for the glory of your name. Holy God, in the glory of your presence, as you fill this room tonight, your child is at rest. There is nothing that can interrupt this sweet fellowship with you, for you have set a guard over their life. Thank you, Lord. Continue to make them feel safe and secure. Allow them to hear the soft melody of your evening lullaby, a melody of your unfailing love. Surround them with the pleasant fragrance of your presence, a balm of comfort that covers them from head to toe. Hold them close, Lord, like a gentle father with his child. Please watch over them through the night. They have nothing to fear, for you have redeemed them and called them by name. Your song over them is love. Praise the Lord, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Gracious Lord, as the sun has set today, we praise your name. Guide this child, your servant, into sleep and rest now so that they may have the strength they need to praise your name in the day to come. Pace your breathing softly as I continue reading from Psalm 113. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high? Who looks far down on the heavens and the earth he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and the princes of his people Lord you look on your child with love and you lift them to abide with you as they rest tonight Please fill them with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and all the fruits of the Spirit. Feel the peace of God lifting you to Him. His love lifts you away from your worries and into safety listen as I pray with the words of the psalmist from Psalm 115 not to us O Lord not to us but to your name goes all the glory for your unfailing love and faithfulness we will trust the Lord you are our helper and our shield we fear the Lord we trust the Lord the Lord remembers us 
and will bless us he will bless those who fear the Lord both great and lowly may the Lord richly bless both you and your children may you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth father maker of heaven and earth thank you for remembering us and richly blessing us thank you for helping us in time of need and shielding us in times of trouble we give you all the glory lead your child now into deep sleep and true rest feel the father's hands on you blessing you see him bending down to listen to you and watching over you as you rest pace your breathing as we pray these words from psalm 116 i love the lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy because he bends down to listen i will pray as long as i have breath death wrapped its ropes around me the terrors of the grave overtook me I saw only trouble and sorrow then I called on the name of the Lord please Lord save me how kind the Lord is how good he is so merciful this God of ours the Lord protects those of childlike faith I was facing death and he saved me merciful God thank you for saving your child when the cords of sin and death entangled them you reached down to rescue thank you for your mercy thank you for watching over us and listening to our cries for help I ask that now you would hold this child close like a mother hen with her chicks gather this child under the shelter of your wings feel your breathing steady and secure your heart beating gently with the grace of God and listen as I pray these words from Psalm 116 let my soul be at rest again for the Lord has been good to me he has saved me from death my eyes from tears my feet from stumbling and so I walk in the Lord's presence as I live here on earth I believed in you so I said I am deeply troubled Lord in my anxiety I cried out to you what can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me I will lift up the cup of salvation and praise the Lord's name for saving me I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of all his people saving Lord we give you all the glory please let your child soul and body be at rest tonight let them rest in the assurance that you have saved them and that they live in your presence and that you are always listening to their cries feel yourself drifting off to sleep as I continue reading from Psalm 117 oh praise the Lord all you nations praise him all you people for his loving kindness prevails over us and we triumph and overcome through him and the truth of the Lord endures forever praise the Lord Lord we praise you for your love and your kindness we praise you for your truth thank you for promising that your child may overcome all things and that you will lead your child in triumph and into radiant truth pace your breathing as I read now from Psalm 118 
breathe in give thanks to the Lord for he is good breathe out his faithful love endures forever breathe in give thanks to the Lord for he is good breathe out his faithful love endures forever let all who fear the Lord say with us his faithful love endures forever Lord your love is with us even unto the end let your love wrap around this child tonight as you lead your child into the rest they need continue to breathe deeply as I continue to pray with the words of the psalmist in our distress we pray to you Lord and you answer and set us free the Lord is for us so we will have no fear what can mere people do to us yes the Lord is for us he will help us we choose to take refuge in you God it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes God we believe that though we may fail your love will never fail may your child find refuge in you tonight and trust you completely set your child free from fear God you are our hiding place may your child hide safely with you tonight and experience the true rest and peace that only you can give sink deeply into comfort and rest as I continue to read from Psalm 118 the Lord is my strength and my song he has given me victory songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly the strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly the strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things I will live to tell what the Lord has done open for me the gates where the righteous enter and I will go in and thank the Lord these gates lead to the presence of the Lord and the godly enter there I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory gracious God you have done wonderful things we praise and exalt you for your love endures forever thank you for allowing us to see your work in the world God I ask now that you would be with your child as they sleep through this night give them peaceful dreams restore their spirit and wake them in the morning to a new day that you have made that they may rejoice and be glad in it that they may experience your fresh mercies in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit amen Psalms chapter 95 verse 6 gently encourages us O come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through Jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life many people kneeled before Jesus in mark chapter 1 verse 40 a leper knelt before Jesus 
imploring. If you will, you can. Make me clean. Leprosy was a terrible disease, not only physically, but emotionally, causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community. Imagine the scene. Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him. The murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them. But Jesus doesn't move away. The leper, in his tattered clothing, feeling his weakness and shame, showing every ounce of his desperation. His hands fall limply to the ground to support himself, and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply. It took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus, to break through the barriers of social norms, and to hope one more time in someone, something that could help him. If you will, you can, he spoke. He did not doubt Jesus' ability to make him clean, but he did doubt his willingness. Would this man be willing? Does he love him enough? Does he consider him worthy? Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally. The next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity. He stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. Jesus is moved by our needs, our humility, as we kneel before him. Others may walk by us, not noticing us, not acknowledging our presence, But Jesus is moved to feeling. Picture him stretching out his hand towards you. We place ourselves before him, and he stretches himself towards us. He goes beyond the everyday. He moves into action towards us. Feel the soft, gentle touch of Jesus on you. For this leper, it was probably the first time he had been touched. That someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time. And then Jesus whispers, I will. He is not only able but he is willing. He wants to use his power in our lives for our good. He sees us, and he wants to help. And then he says those wonderful words, the words we have been longing to hear. Be clean. Feel the power of forgiveness, of mercy. Not only does he see you, He wants to help you, even now, as you drift off to sleep. He is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know. Thank the Lord for His willingness to touch you, to heal your hurts. Feel the power, the release, flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment, relaxed in your efforts, receiving his grace once a mother came to jesus and knelt before him matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want This is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons. Like the leper, 
it took faith courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel she was probably not young as her sons were adults she may have even struggled to take such a prone position it showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs picture yourself kneeling in front of him wanting to ask him something but not really finding the words what if he thinks we're not worthy to ask or that it is a silly thing what if he thinks it's too big for him or even worse that he doesn't want to do it and then picture him gently saying what do you want he wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart he wanted her to pour out her need even if it seemed silly to others it was not to him he cares he invites her he invites you unburden your heart to him even as you take your next breath breathe it out to him let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before jesus there is desperation like the leper There is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who God is the character of God that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our Lord and to say it another way he is our master he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power of his forgiveness of his grace of his salvation God is also our maker as the person who created you he knows you because he formed you as his work of art He knows your heart and desires and longings he also knows your weaknesses your struggles he more than anyone else knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city see colors and parts you are drawn to then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like God painted you with beauty and shadows he wants to be with you even in the shadows or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel spinning around and around right now it's a shapeless blob as it goes around and around his hands firm yet gentle 
embrace the vase he knows its purpose he knows its possibilities as he places pressure in one location he allows it to be free in others causing it to take a unique shape he knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside but more than anything he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside and then there is the oven the kiln where the vase is baked he knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it he knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong he is perfect and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes in the next verse the psalmist reminds us for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand we have been thinking tonight of who god is but this is a gentle reminder of who we are the sheep of his pasture he wants to care for us by providing pastures places of refreshment and rest he has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest close your eyes picture yourself as a sheep content in your pasture content in having the good shepherd care for you lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep lush grass take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep knowing you are safe in his hands as we rest in his pasture let's talk to God let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will Lord we thank you that every knee will bow we thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you and we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand Lord we need rest and sleep as only you can give we need refreshment for tomorrow a renewal of our spirit to do what you have for us to do we pray that even now we will drift off to sleep complete relaxation secure in your love and acceptance knowing that you desire to meet all our needs Lord be with us as we rest in you in the name of Jesus amen continue to breathe deeply in and out knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arm As you begin to go to sleep tonight listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before him psalms chapter 95 verse 6 gently encourages us oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through Jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life so get comfortable snuggle down into the covers 
and relax close your eyes and feel the day melt away take a deep breath and then exhale it almost like a sigh feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath in and out reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them removing the tensions of the day think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray Lord Jesus I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you Lord even now give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews renew my spirit through peaceful sleep I pray amen many people kneeled before Jesus in mark chapter 1 verse 40 a leper knelt before Jesus imploring if you will you can make me clean leprosy was a terrible disease not only physically but emotionally causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community imagine the scene Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him the murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them but Jesus doesn't move away the leper in his tattered clothing feeling his weakness and shame showing every ounce of his desperation his hands fall limply to the ground to support himself and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply it took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone something that could help him if you will you can he spoke he did not doubt Jesus ability to make him clean but he did doubt his willingness would this man be willing does he love him enough does he consider him worthy Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally the next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I will be clean Jesus is moved by our needs our humility as we kneel before him others may walk by us not noticing us not acknowledging our presence but Jesus is moved to feeling picture him stretching out his hand towards you we place ourselves before him and he stretches himself towards us he goes beyond the everyday he moves into action towards us feel the soft gentle touch of Jesus on you for this leper it was probably the first time he had been touched that someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time 
and then Jesus whispers I will he is not only able but he is willing he wants to use his power in our lives for our good he sees us and he wants to help and then he says those wonderful words the words we have been longing to hear be clean feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace David had been on the run for quite a while now he had been loyal to King Saul but Saul had betrayed him and sought to kill him by this David knew that King Saul was not just going against him but against God Saul and David both knew that God had chosen David to succeed Saul yet Saul refused to accept that to combat his fears David liked to write songs at one time he had written songs to comfort King Saul yet now he wrote them to comfort himself writing down what was true about God helped him remember who God was which put his own fears in their place David pulled the slab of damp clay in front of him and then picked up the stiff reed to use as his writing tool he stuck the reed in his mouth for a moment as he thought as was often the case the words began to flow freely the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid what comfort these words brought him as he sat in a dark cave he reflected on how the Lord was his light the Lord was the one who would ultimately rescue him David knew better than to trust in his own puny power and as he spent his life on the run it brought him great joy to remember that the Lord is his stronghold and that was much more secure than the most powerful fortress your own fears become greatly diminished since God is your light salvation and stronghold David looked out of the caves mouth and could picture Saul and his mighty army coming after him he took a deep breath and wrote when the wicked advance against me to devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall though an army besiege me my heart will not fear though war break out against me even then I will be confident picture the Lord standing at your side with his mighty heavenly army coming against your fear let that image give you confidence David bowed his head to pray and ponder what did he want from the Lord as he thought about it he knew with certainty one thing I ask from the Lord this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple
more than anything, David wanted to dwell in the house of the Lord, which meant that he wanted to be in his presence. David knew that God was with him, even in this dark cave. But he longed to worship him publicly before all of Israel. His shoulders slumped as he thought about how he was barred from the places he'd come to love. But then another thought came to him. As he looked out over the fields of Israel, even on the run, he was able to see God's handiwork Yet he knew that the Lord was even more beautiful than his creation. He found great comfort in that. The beauty of the Lord is overwhelming and awe-inspiring. With these thoughts, David sat up straighter and wrote, For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling, he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. The high ground was the best place for battle, and every warrior wanted possession of it. The Lord kept him safe, sheltered him, and set him upon the high rock. Even if he wasn't on the literal high ground, he was certainly on the spiritual high ground. God has set you on the high ground spiritually, and you can make music in your heart to him. David stood up and walked outside the cave. He suddenly felt overwhelmed with all he'd been through. He lifted his arms and said aloud, Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. That's what he was doing, seeking the Lord's face. He had bowed his head, but now he lifted it up. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. David had cried out to God in anguish his emotions getting the best of him. But now he put his arms down and put one foot, but now he put his arms down and put one foot down firmly to help his body and heart follow his mind. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. This is what he knew to be true. Even those who loved him most would at times fail him. But the Lord would never turn him away. David went back inside the cave. He sank down onto the hard floor and thought about Saul. Saul, too, had at one time worshipped God but now he had turned his back on him. David never wanted to be guilty of that. He knew how easy it would be to lose heart and confidence in God because of his circumstances. So he whispered under his breath, Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. It helped David to recognize that what others said about him were lies. It comforted him to know that God knew the truth. 
Yes, God knew and was watching over him every moment. He would never abandon him for even a second. David picked up the reed and wrote boldly. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He would keep this tablet and read those words often. He committed them to memory so that when difficult things happened, he would remember the truth that God is good and wants nothing but good for him. David didn't know how long it would take for God to vindicate him and put him on the throne. He didn't know how long it would take for Saul to quit pursuing him. But he did know one thing, that he would tell himself and those who followed him. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. As you drift to sleep, let the silence of the night renew and refresh you. God is in the silence and wants to whisper encouragement and assurance to your soul. He wants you to know his great love for you and fill you with strength, even as you sleep. As you rest, I will pray Psalm 27 for you. The Lord is your light and salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the stronghold of their life. Of whom shall they be afraid? When the wicked advance against them and they feel like they are going to devour them, Help them to know that it is their enemies and foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege them, they will not fear. Though war break out against them, they will be confident. I ask one thing, that even as they sleep, they will know that God dwells with them always and will never abandon them for even a moment. Help them to drift to sleep with the knowledge that God is beautiful beyond description because he made all things of beauty. Help them to sleep soundly for in the day of trouble you will keep them safe in your dwelling. You will hide them in the shelter of your sacred tent and set them high upon a rock. Then their head will be exalted above their enemies who surround them. This knowledge makes them shout for joy it makes them sing and make music to you, Lord. Hear their voice when they call. Lord, be merciful and answer. Let their heart say, seek your face, and let them do so, even in sleep. I know that you will not hide your face from them, that you will not turn away in anger. You have been their helper. Your faithfulness in the past helps them trust you now. You will not reject or forsake them. God, our Savior. Even those who love them will fail them, but you will never fail them, Lord. Teach them your way. Lead them 
in a straight path because of their oppressors if others tell lies against them you will remind them of the truth may they remain confident of this they will see your goodness in the land of the living you almost never do things on their schedule you always do things perfectly at the perfect time because you know everything help them to remember this Lord help them to wait patiently for you help them to be strong and take heart and wait for you Lord in Jesus name I pray amen imagine you are living during the time of Moses long before the life of Christ you and the Israelites are camped out on the east side of the Jordan River you've had a long day of work your muscles are tired your bones are too you want to rest so you sit down in the green grass and enjoy the cool breeze off the river it's refreshing on your skin you take in the scents too the smell of moisture in the air the aroma of wildflowers the fragrance of trees blooming you also marvel at the beautiful Sun to the West it's slowly setting over the promised land that you and your people will soon occupy the sunset is a mixture of orange and red and yellow a small cloud dancing in front of the Sun makes the colors even more stunning it's as if God himself has painted this picture just for you and your friends to enjoy overhead you gaze at perhaps the darkest blue sky you have ever seen as you relax in the grass you hear voices approaching they're filled with laughter and joy most of the voices are those of children but one of them sounds familiar you turn around it's Moses leading a group of children at 120 years old he looks amazing he is walking carefully with a staff talking to the children along the way you've heard that his eyesight is still great and that he is as strong as ever in a few days Joshua will lead you and the people to the promised land but for now Moses is still leading the Israelites and right now he's talking to the children answering every question they have he's smiling enjoying the interaction so you begin to listen what did manna taste like one child asks it tasted like wafers made with honey Moses answers another child speaks up did the burning bush really not burn up no it really didn't Moses responds laughing then one of the children asks a question that piques your interest 
Moses, who made God? No one made God, Moses answers. God has always existed. Throughout all generations, God has been our home. Before the mountains were born, he gave birth to the earth and the world. From beginning to end, he is God. We are merely dust. We are mortal, but God is spirit. He always has been. He is the everlasting God. To him, a thousand years is like a few hours. As Moses finishes talking to the children, you look up to the sky. It's darker now, and the heavens are filling with stars. There's too many to count. There are hundreds of them. No, there's thousands. Perhaps tens or hundreds of thousands. A beautiful crescent moon is hanging in the sky. You are drawn to prayer and worship. Thirty minutes have passed. The nighttime air is cool and calm. The children have left, but Moses has remained, enjoying the warmth of a small fire someone made for him. You're about thirty feet away. Sparks from the embers leap toward the heavens. The sounds of the burning wood popping and crackling fill the quiet nighttime air it's the most relaxing sound you've heard all day the sky is dark the heavens are putting on an incredible show from one horizon to the other you gaze at the big dipper you find the constellation Orion. You locate the Pleiades. Suddenly, a meteor, a shooting star, races through the sky. Then, you hear Moses sing. It's a familiar song a tune your people sang after God delivered them out of Egypt. You quietly join with him, singing. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him my father's God and I will exalt him the Lord is a warrior the Lord is his name who among the gods is like you Lord who is like you majestic in holiness awesome in glory working wonders the Lord reigns forever and ever. The fire is still going strong, but Moses puts another piece of wood on it. You marvel at his strength and stamina at such an old age. A few more sparks from the fire soar upward. You meditate on one of the verses from the song the Lord reigns forever and ever 
you repeat it several times quietly the Lord reigns forever and ever the Lord reigns forever and ever the Lord reigns forever and ever the thought brings you comfort this world is not your home you are merely passing through the worries and cares of the day are temporary you will live with God forever it's hard to fathom but deep down you know it's true you will live with God forever unlike the people and livestock and trees all around you the Lord will never die he's a forever God and he will never leave you Moses puts another piece of wood on the fire you watch him look to the star-filled sky he stretches out his arms and prays Lord through all the generations you have been our home before the mountains were born before you gave birth to the earth and the world from beginning to end you are God you turn people back to dust saying return to dust you mortals for you a thousand years are as a passing day as brief as a few night hours Moses's prayer brings you peace and comfort you meditate on his prayer God is your salvation he saved his people out of Egypt he displayed grace and mercy when they disobeyed throughout the generations he has been your home before the mountains were born God was there before the earth and the world were created he loved you from beginning to end he is God to him a thousand years is like a few hours God has always existed everything around you had a beginning but not God he had no beginning it's a concept you don't understand but you accept God isn't constrained by time he's not constrained by space he is an eternal God you look at the dark sky once again the crescent moon is setting in the west but in the east a bright star more impressive than anything in the sky is rising across the heavens thousands of stars continue to twinkle as if they're worshiping too you're in awe another shooting star darts across the Western horizon you think to yourself the God who created this masterpiece created me 
the God who created this loves me. The God who made this watches over me. And that thought leads you to recite Moses' prayer. Lord, through all the generations, you have been our home before the mountains were born before you gave birth to the earth and the world from beginning to end you are God you turn people back to dust saying return to dust you mortals for you a thousand years are as a passing day as brief as a few night hours God is the Alpha and the Omega he is the everlasting God before the universe was made God had a plan for your life he's always been there for you he's your home and he will never leave you you will live with him forever the things of this world are passing away but God and his kingdom will last forever and you will live with him he is your source of peace and comfort and relaxation and sleep let me pray for you dear God you are the eternal God I am in awe of you before time began you had a plan for this child's life father I ask that you will help them relax I ask that you will grant them rest bless them with pleasant and peaceful dreams help them to know that you are protecting and guarding them help them sleep in Jesus' name I pray amen remember before the mountains were born before God gave birth to the earth and the world he had a plan for your life dear one you are in God's arms accept his peace now relax in his presence abide in his comfort sleep throughout the night knowing that the God of the universe is watching over you Our scripture focus will be on the glorious words of praise from Psalm chapter 8. This Psalm of David might best be described as a song of God's glory displayed throughout the heavens. About this chapter, Charles Spurgeon once said, Let us go abroad and sing it beneath the starry heavens at eventide. rest in that poetic phrase for a moment beneath the starry heavens at eventide inhale 
and exhale. Relax every muscle. Feel the tension just leave your body. As you turn your thoughts to the glory of the Lord tonight, in a moment, you will hear the words of David as he offered a beautiful tribute to the God of all creation and to the glory of the Lord seated high above the heavens. But before we visit this psalm of praise, please join me as I pray. Holy Father, your glory rises far above the heavens, so vast, so boundless. We just can't comprehend it. Yet, by the works of your hands, you give us glimpses into your magnificent glory. And for that, we're so thankful. Tonight, Lord, open our ears. To hear the wonderful words of praise from the mouth of David. Join our hearts with yours as we meditate upon your glory for our own good. Help us to release all distracting thoughts and just focus only on you and your perfect word. Settle us, Lord, in the goodness of your presence. And I pray these things in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. And now, hear the words of David. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants you have ordained strength because of our enemies that you may silence the enemy and the Avenger when I look at your heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have set in place what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him what is man that you are mindful of him how is it possible that the creator of the universe has time to be mindful of us surely he he has better things to think about and yet God's thoughts over us are thoughts of love and acceptance after all not only did his hands set the moon and stars in place but his hands fashioned each of us in his own likeness dear one the Lord is mindful of you tonight think about that he knows you he thinks about you he loves you let those thoughts bring you comfort and peace what is the son of man that you care for him oh how God cares for you he cares about the smallest details regarding your life feel that feel his nurturing presence watching over you as you fall asleep you are his beloved child and you are held in his loving hands there's no doubt that he is with you for the scriptures declare that he is Emmanuel God with us feel the presence of God Emmanuel with you tonight the Lord has set his glory above the heavens 
he has set the moon and stars in place for centuries man has tried to figure it all out they have endlessly searched for answers about the universe the heavens have been a puzzled wonder to mankind but know this God has it all figured out nothing is a puzzle to him he has put all the right pieces together in just the right way beyond our scope of understanding he designed the universe the heavens the earth and our lives for his glory and our good one 19th century astronomer once wrote what have we to tell of all the different varieties of stars what of those most supremely glorious objects what of the Milky Way such are a few of the questions which occur when we ponder on the mysteries of the heavens the mysteries of the heavens are no mystery to their Creator for he has set his glory above the heavens rest under the heavens that God has put into place as a vast covering of starlit wonder and glory Lord God please bless this beloved one who is resting in the glory of your presence tonight bless them with peace hope and trust in you settle their breathing into a soft rhythm helping them sink into a deep peaceful sleep Lord as they rest quietly I ask that you allow them to dream of the beautiful works of your hands the works of your fingers that set the moon and stars in place the works of your magnificent glory found high above the heavens in the name of Jesus I pray amen on each of the historical flights of the space shuttle discovery the crew was awakened each morning by song these wake-up calls were a tradition of the NASA program and the songs were selected by mission control one Sunday morning during orbit John Glenn and the rest of the crew woke up to a song called hallelujahs a song that speaks of cratered moon in sparrows wings Oh, thunders booms and Saturn's rings unveil our father as you sing and my soul wells up with hallelujahs the writer of the song Chris Rice was overwhelmed by the thought of his humble song being played for the astronauts in space as they hovered far above the earth with a miraculous view of God's handiwork they were filled with a song of worship to the maker of the universe and my soul wells up with hallelujahs holy God maker of all that is seen and unseen our souls well up with hallelujahs praise and honor of who you are 
thank you Lord for creating the heavens in such a vast array underneath the starry sky we rest in the holiness of your presence we dream of the works of your hands in all your glory and goodness amen when I look at your heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have set in place what is man that you are mindful of him in the son of man that you care for him yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor you have given him dominion over the works of your hands you have put all things under his feet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor rest humbly in the place that God has established for you a little lower than the angels and crowned with glory and honor I praise you for setting everything in its place just so perfectly underneath the blanket of the starry heavens you have assigned us our proper place tonight Lord I pray over this dear child for rest and peace in your presence I ask that your glory will continue to shine in their life for their ultimate good as the earth continues to spin on its axis and make its orbit around the Sun I pray that the life of this listener right here will continue to flow under the mighty direction of your hand thank you Lord that you are mindful of us that you care about us and that you love us in the holy name of Jesus amen Oh Lord our Lord how majestic is your name in all the earth you have set your glory above the heavens out of the mouths of babies and infants you have established strength how majestic is your name your glory above the heavens you have established strength feel God's majesty and glory and strength covering you tonight out of the mouths of babies and infants you have established strength sweet praise from the mouths of babes worshiping the one who saves from sky above to earth below the works of your hands we long to know heavens declare the strength of your glory we long to hear of heaven's story from first breath of all creation through each blessed generation how can your glory be understood your perfect glory for our good Heavenly Father Father of glory and goodness remain over this beloved child tonight as they sleep in peace help them to get enough rest to feel renewed at morning light and to awaken with a sense of refreshment Thank you, Lord, 
for being that constant in their life that constant source of hope and faith I pray for the blessing of your presence to stay with them through the night and continue as they face a new day I pray all these things in the precious name of your son Jesus amen tonight our scripture focus will be on the glorious words of praise from Psalm chapter 8 this Psalm of David might best be described as a song of God's glory displayed throughout the heavens about this chapter Charles Spurgeon once said let us go abroad and sing it beneath the starry heavens at eventide rest in that poetic phrase for a moment beneath the starry heavens at eventide inhale and exhale relax every muscle feel the tension just leave your body as you turn your thoughts to the glory of the Lord tonight in a moment you will hear the words of David as he offered a beautiful tribute to the God of all creation and to the glory of the Lord seated high above the heavens but before we visit this psalm of praise please join me as I pray Holy Father your glory rises far above the heavens so vast so boundless we just can't comprehend it yet by the works of your hands you give us glimpses into your magnificent glory and for that we're so thankful tonight Lord open our ears to hear the wonderful words of praise from the mouth of David join our hearts with yours as we meditate upon your glory for our own good help us to release all distracting thoughts and just focus only on you and your perfect word settle us Lord in the goodness of your presence and I pray these things in the beautiful name of Jesus amen answer me when I call to you my righteous God give me relief from my distress have mercy on me and hear my prayer know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself the Lord hears when I call to him tremble and do not sin when you are on your beds search your hearts and be silent offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord God you answer when we call to you and you alone have the power to answer prayers please have mercy on your child relieve your child's distress and anxiety lift the burdens from their shoulders and help them to trust your power and your providence your deep love for them I ask this in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit as I begin reading from Psalm 91 allow yourself to feel the security of God's covering like a soft warm blanket let his gentle presence cover every fiber of your being he is your protection and your refuge 
know that it is the Lord who keeps you safe those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty he alone is your refuge your place of safety he is your God and you can trust him he will cover you with his feathers he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and your protection do not be afraid rest in his everlasting arms as I pray over you now relax and breathe deeply in and out inhale his goodness exhale your worries gracious Heavenly Father shelter this beloved person tonight under the shadow of your wings let their heart fully trust in you Lord as you cover them and guard them from the terrors of the night surround them with your angels that they might feel completely safe and secure in Jesus's name do you feel his presence his protection his safety breathe deeply now in and out relaxing even more in the presence of God trust the Lord to send his angels to keep watch over you allow yourself to imagine guardian angels in the room with you they are there to protect you so that you can rest easily feel the warmth of the covers and the softness of the pillow as you sink deeper into peaceful relaxation now listen as I read these beautiful words from Psalm 91 if you make the Lord your refuge if you make the Most High your shelter no evil will conquer you no plague will come near your home for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go do you believe that do you believe with all your heart that God will order his angels to protect you he loves you and you can rest fully in that truth Holy God please give this person your cherished loved one perfect rest help them to make you their refuge and their shelter give them comfort give them comfort to know that no bad thing will come near their home help them sense that your angels are watching over them tonight in Jesus' name I pray amen as I share even more from Psalm 91 try to pace your breathing breathe in and exhale slowly breathe in and breathe out allow yourself to drift off to sleep in perfect peace for the Lord says I will rescue those who love me I will protect those who trust in my name when you call on me I will answer I will be with you in trouble God is with you he will rescue you from every trouble every hardship every difficult situation when you love him trust him and call on his name yes he will be with you feel his presence his spirit lives in you 
his son Jesus has saved you he is your God Heavenly Father be with your loved one tonight with every breath they take let them know you are with them let them know that your spirit dwells in their spirit and let them be assured that the blood of your son has made them clean whole and restored thank you Lord for protecting them tonight in your presence and by the covering of your angels in Jesus's name as I share this final portion of Psalm 91 sink even deeper into the safety and protection that the Lord offers you tonight his loving arms are around you he is keeping you safe he is with you I will rescue and honor you says the Lord I will reward you with a long life and give you my salvation the peace of knowing you have honor long life and salvation is a perfect peace that allows you to rest fully in the Lord he is trustworthy and true feel his presence now as you breathe in and out breathe in the warmth of God's embrace exhale your exhaustion letting it go as you drift into God's land of protection thank you Lord for rewarding your servant with honor and long life bless them tonight giving them peaceful rest assuring them of the salvation they have in your son Jesus for it is in his name that I pray now as I turn to Psalm 103 let your mind turn to thoughts of deep sleep you are at perfect rest tonight breathe in and out sinking deeper into the bed letting your entire body relax let every part of you praise the Lord may you never forget the good things he has done for you he forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases what a beautiful reminder of the good things God has done for you he longs to give you good things receive his goodness do you feel the goodness of his presence he has sent angels to protect you and it is good confess your sins before the Lord he forgives all of your iniquities thank him praise him he heals all of your ailments receive his healing touch his comforts his provisions breathe deeply of his spirit relax settle your mind and heart on his goodness gracious God please bless this person tonight with good things that they will not forget what you have done for them you have forgiven them let them know they are forgiven tonight you have healed them let them feel completely healed by your touch thank you Lord for giving your beloved such wonderful gifts in Jesus name now as I continue in Psalm 103 relax and breathe in and out again 
in and out letting your mind settle on the comforting words of the scripture God's words his truth his ways he redeems you from death and crowns you with love and tender mercies he fills your life with good things receive those good things from the hand of the father for he has redeemed you breathe in and out and let your heart praise him for redeeming your life his tender mercies are new every morning he has crowned you with love and mercy feel the crown of love that he has placed on your head he fills your life with goodness so embrace those wonderful blessings that you have received from his hand holy God thank you so much for showering your loved one with blessings please continue to crown them with good things let them know you are in the room you are in their heart your angels are all around protecting guarding covering in Jesus's holy name and now as I close with our final verses from Psalm 103 rest in perfect peace tonight breathing in and out in and out fully relaxed and at peace your youth is renewed like the Eagles the Lord gives righteousness and justice to you righteousness and justice let those words sink deeply into your mind your heart your soul God's righteousness peace and life are given to you tonight relax sleep dream of God's goodness you will awaken renewed by the Lord himself ready to face the day with strength and vitality breathe deeper now fully relaxed completely at ease relax you can know that you are protected release you can know that you are loved refresh you can sleep in perfect peace you can dream of God's goodness righteousness and provision Lord God surround this cherished person with your loving presence in peace and holiness cover them as your angels protect them help them rest deeply and sleep through the night help them to sense your loving kindness and goodness as they dream in Jesus's holy name I pray amen let your head sink deep into the pillow let go of any distractions or thoughts about tomorrow and events of your day allow yourself to be fully present in the here and now breathe deeply in and out in and out inviting God's presence to fill the room as you listen to my voice 
and the words of this meditation let the peaceful messages flow into your mind and settle deep into your heart the prayers and scriptures i will speak over you tonight are words of hope life and peace ask the holy spirit to send words of comfort through this meditation and know that his angels are here to protect you as you rest tonight as i begin reading from psalm 91 allow yourself to feel the security of god's covering like a soft warm blanket let his gentle presence cover every fiber of your being he is your protection and your refuge know that it is the lord who keeps you safe those who live in the shelter of the most high will find rest in the shadow of the almighty he alone is your refuge your place of safety he is your god and you can trust him he will cover you with his feathers he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and your protection do not be afraid rest in his everlasting arms as i pray over you now relax and breathe deeply in and out inhale his goodness exhale your worries gracious heavenly father shelter this beloved person tonight under the shadow of your wings let their heart fully trust in you lord as you cover them and guard them from the terrors of the night surround them with your angels that they might feel completely safe and secure in Jesus' name do you feel his presence his protection his safety breathe deeply now in and out relaxing even more in the presence of God trust the Lord to send his angels to keep watch over you allow yourself to imagine guardian angels in the room with you they are there to protect you so that you can rest easily feel the warmth of the covers and the softness of the pillow as you sink deeper into peaceful relaxation now listen as i read these beautiful words from psalm 91 if you make the lord your refuge if you make the most high your shelter no evil will conquer you no plague will come near your home for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go do you believe that do you believe with all your heart that god will order his angels to protect you he loves you and you can rest fully in that truth holy god please give this person your cherished loved one perfect rest help them to make you their refuge and their shelter give them comfort give them comfort to know that no bad thing will come near their home help them sense that your angels are watching over them tonight in Jesus' name I pray amen as I share even more from Psalm 91 try to pace your breathing breathe in and exhale slowly breathe in and breathe out 
allow yourself to drift off to sleep in perfect peace where the Lord says I will rescue those who love me I will protect those who trust in my name when you call on me I will answer I will be with you in trouble God is with you he will rescue you from every trouble every hardship every difficult situation when you love him trust him and call on his name yes he will be with you feel his presence his spirit lives in you his son Jesus has saved you he is your God Heavenly Father be with your loved one tonight with every breath they take let them know you are with them let them know that your spirit dwells in their spirit and let them be assured that the blood of your son has made them clean whole and restored thank you Lord for protecting them tonight in your presence and by the covering of your angels in Jesus' name as I share this final portion of Psalm 91 sink even deeper into the safety and protection that the Lord offers you tonight his loving arms are around you he is keeping you safe he is with you I will rescue and honor you says the Lord I will reward you with a long life and give you my salvation the peace of knowing you have honor long life and salvation is a perfect peace that allows you to rest fully in the Lord he is trustworthy and true feel his presence now as you breathe in and out breathe in the warmth of God's embrace exhale your exhaustion letting it go as you drift into God's land of protection as we journey through the mountains and valleys of Psalm 121 to reflect on God's comfort and provision for you remember God loves you and cares for you all the help you'll ever need comes from him allow me to pray over you as you begin to dream and drift into a peaceful night of sleep Lord God I ask you to watch over your child tonight hold them in the fold of your tender loving arms father I pray for deep rest and security for this dear and wonderful person that you love and care for give them visions and dreams of your hope refresh them for a new day be their help in time of need and allow them to sleep deeply tonight in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit amen imagine that you are in a peaceful valley it's lush and green with glorious rolling hills that rise and fall into the distance wildflowers dot the landscape with vibrant color 
yellow daffodils, white jasmine with sweet-smelling petals. You walk slowly through the valley in perfect peace, breathing the fresh spring air. Up above, you see a clear blue sky with wispy clouds floating overhead. There is stillness and peace all around. You are fully content and fully relaxed in the valley. Jesus is there with you. He is happy that you want to spend time with him here. See the glow of his smile as you walk side by side. You hear Jesus speak Psalm 121 out loud to you. The words fill the valley alive with his spirit. They calm your heart, mind, and soul. I will lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. You come to a soft blanket spread out for you in the shade. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Jesus invites you to rest right here. And you lie dreamily in the valley. The Lord is your keeper. He who keeps you will not slumber. He keeps Israel safe, and he will keep you safe. He will neither sleep nor slumber. Your heart fills with the comfort that God is your keeper, your protector, your guide. His spirit fills your room. He shall preserve you from all evil. You fall. You drift. Slowly. Softly. Asleep. Your mind is refreshed. Your arms and back feel light and restored from deep sleep. Jesus walks again with you through the valley. He continues speaking Psalm 121 over you slowly, like a command, making each word true. 
I lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from as you walk through the beautiful green valley the gentle rolling hills rising up all around you you know where your help comes from he is standing right beside you in glowing robes <laughs> the risen Lord he is so peaceful you are immersed in a sense of stillness and security as you look around at the magnificent landscape you know just by the beauty of creation that God is your creator your provider your help you also know that the psalmist does not look to nature for help as beautiful as the hills may be the psalmist's help comes from the very one who made the hills the heavens and the earth God my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth the Lord God is with you in the valley God the Father calls out to you from the hills your heart rejoices at his voice you call out to him and before a word is even on your tongue he knows it he is already sending the help you need at just the right time and in just the right way he will not let your foot be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep you are amazed by the faithfulness of God the one who does not slumber or sleep he never grows weary of that you can be sure he is a constant presence in your life you feel his presence now your feet are steady on solid ground you have nothing to fear the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade on your right hand the Sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night the warmth of the Sun is shining down on you and you bask in its light and when it becomes too hot God becomes your shade the coolness on your face he is your keeper and guardian you allow yourself to relax fully in his loving arms he is guiding you and the way you should go even in the night watches when the way seems dark and unfamiliar your foot does not stumble his spirit is there to lead you feel him leading you tonight no matter how dark it seems your footsteps are sure the Lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life the safety you feel in the fold of the Lord's loving arms 
is the most secure feeling in the world all the cares of life have faded into the night you are able to breathe deeply and know that you are completely safe no evil can touch you for the Lord is keeping you from everything that is harmful or contrary to his love for you your very life is held fastly in the palm of his hand you've never felt so protected it's as if walls of love have been placed around you so that nothing can reach you you are surrounded by God's perfect peace the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever more as you go through the valley and find pasture your life is locked in and secured in the fold of the great Shepherd he watches over your coming and your going there is nothing that escapes his sovereignty he is your keeper he keeps watch over you from this time forth now and forevermore tomorrow God will watch over you he will guide your steps the peace of Jesus will guard your heart from this time forth and forevermore you are kept by the love of the Lord he is your help in time of need he is your rock your fortress and your deliverer now be still rest deeply and know that God is with you allow his presence to cover you as you sleep in total peace tonight dream peacefully as I pray gracious God thank you for your provision over your loved one tonight I ask for healing rest and peaceful sleep as they trust in you help them always to remember that their help comes from you alone in Jesus's holy name I pray amen may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace imagine that you are in a peaceful valley it's lush and green with glorious rolling hills that rise and fall into the distance wildflowers dot the landscape with vibrant color yellow daffodils white jasmine with sweet smelling petals you walk slowly through the valley in perfect peace breathing the fresh spring air up above you see a clear blue sky with wispy clouds floating overhead there is stillness and peace all around you are fully content and fully relaxed in the valley 
Jesus is there with you he is happy that you want to spend time with him here see the glow of his smile as you walk side by side you hear Jesus speak Psalm 121 out loud to you the words fill the valley alive with his spirit they calm your heart mind and soul I will lift my eyes to the hills where does my help come from my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth he will not allow your foot to be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade at your right hand the Sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night the Lord shall preserve you from all evil he shall preserve your soul the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore you come to a soft blanket spread out for you in the shade the Sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night and Jesus invite you to rest right here and you lie dreamily in the valley the Lord is your keeper he who keeps you will not slumber he keeps Israel safe and he will keep you safe he will neither sleep nor slumber your heart fills with the comfort that God is your keeper your protector your guide his spirit fills your room he shall preserve you from all evil you fall you drift slowly softly asleep your mind is refreshed your arms and back feel light and restored from deep sleep Jesus walks again with you through the valley He continues speaking Psalm 121 over you slowly like a command making each word true I lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from as you walk through the beautiful green valley the gentle rolling hills rising up all around you you know where your help comes from he is standing right beside you in glowing robes (laughs) the risen Lord he is so peaceful you are immersed in a sense of stillness and security 
as you look around at the magnificent landscape you know just by the beauty of creation that God is your creator your provider your help you also know that the psalmist does not look to nature for help as beautiful as the hills may be the psalmist's help comes from the very one who made the hills the heavens and the earth God my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth the Lord God is with you in the valley God the Father calls out to you from the hills your heart rejoices at his voice you call out to him and before a word is even on your tongue he knows it he is already sending the help you need at just the right time and in just the right way he will not let your foot be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep you are amazed by the faithfulness of God the one who does not slumber or sleep he never grows weary of that you can be sure he is a constant presence in your life you feel his presence now your feet are steady on solid ground you have nothing to fear the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade on your right hand the Sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night the warmth of the Sun is shining down on you and you bask in its light and when it becomes too hot God becomes your shade the coolness on your face he is your keeper and guardian you allow yourself to relax fully in his loving arms he is guiding you in the way you should go even in the night watches when the way seems dark and unfamiliar your foot does not stumble his spirit is there to lead you feel him leading you tonight no matter how dark it seems your footsteps are sure the Lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life the safety you feel in the fold of the Lord's loving arms is the most secure feeling in the world all the cares of life have faded into the night you are able to breathe deeply and know that you are completely safe no evil can touch you for the Lord is keeping you from everything that is harmful or contrary to his love for you your very life is held fastly in the palm of his hand you've never felt so protected it's as if 
walls of love have been placed around you so that nothing can reach you you are surrounded by God's perfect peace the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever more as you go through the valley and find pasture your life is locked in and secured in the fold of the great Shepherd he watches over your coming and your going there is nothing that escapes his sovereignty he is your keeper he keeps watch over you from this time forth now and forevermore tomorrow God will watch over you he will guide your steps the peace of Jesus will guard your heart from this time forth and forevermore you are kept by the love of the Lord he is your help in time of need he is your rock your fortress and your deliverer now be still rest deeply and know that God is with you allow his presence to cover you as you sleep in total peace tonight dream peacefully as I pray gracious God thank you for your provision over your loved one tonight I ask for healing rest and peaceful sleep as they trust in you help them always to remember that their help comes from you alone in Jesus's holy name I pray amen may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace so this evening as countless have for thousands of years before you settle in now as the story of the 23rd Psalm transforms you just imagine it lying down in a beautiful lush green pasture beside a quiet soothing stream just not a care in the world only feeling refreshed feeling restored protected guided even consoled and loved yes there are shadows yes there is darkness but never so oppressing that it's to be feared because God is with you he has been he is and he will be yet again listen now to Psalm chapter 23 from the King James Version the Lord is my Shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me 
thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever now listen once again as you rest even deeper from the amplified version spoken for you the Lord is your Shepherd he is here with you to feed you to guide you and to shield you you shall not want see his eyes for a moment how he looks at you the intense care and love in his eyes the look that he knows everything about you yet loves you anyway it's impossible for him to love you any more than he does right now just rest there he lets you lie down in green pastures for a moment here feel the cool grass beneath your feet look up into the bright blue sky feel the warmth on your face just soak up everything that you imagine around you right now he leads you beside the still and quiet waters hear it bubbling nearby gentle soothing not the torrent of rushing floodwaters you may feel at times but stillness quiet refreshing water cool water hear it smell it dangle your feet and toes in it it is there to soothe you he refreshes and restores your soul your life everything broken is repaired anything decayed it's revived what is disrupted feel it become restored what is abandoned feel it become recovered what is detached feel it become connected again and rest there now he leads you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake not simply wandering but guided down a path being led down a well-worn path a known path a path chosen for you for your eternity for his name and for his glory even though you walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death you will fear no evil for you are with him yes there are shadows yes there are storms yes there is even the sound of distant thunder but not sufficient 
to bring you fear no storms surprise God no thunder startles him no shadows catch him unaware nothing frightens him rest here in his strength present even in storms his rod is there to protect you his staff to guide you to comfort and console you just gentle prodding tender reminding a rod that's feared by your enemies but protective for you a staff that's dreaded by those that seek to harm you but serves to guide you from harm to comfort you to console you feel soothed now by your heavenly shepherd he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies he prepares it the creator of the universe the author of time he prepares it for you and in the presence of your enemies God's focus is on you preparing you providing for you take a moment now to sit at the table that he has prepared for you he has anointed and refreshed your head with oil feel his hands on your head feel the oil in his hands the oil running down from your head to dripping down your cheeks oil mixed with tears his tears of joy your tears of love feel chosen now feel loved feel anointed your cup overflows his blessings don't fill you they overflow you feel that right now see it his blessings spilling out of your heart your mind your body and your soul surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow you all the days of your life walk along for a moment and then stop and look behind you what do you see in your mind's eye who do you see imagine seeing goodness following you see mercy walking right behind you see unfailing love following you always present always close walking in step right behind you take a moment now to listen carefully and hear their steps and you shall dwell forever throughout all of your days in the house and in the presence of the Lord dwell not just in any old place but living and staying as a permanent resident in the house and presence of God 
not an earthly place of sticks and mud, but a heavenly palace built by the Creator. And not just today, but tomorrow, all week, every month, year, decade, century, and millennia for all time forever now rest in the green pasture by the still water rest safe from harm allow God's presence to free you to save you breathe in God's peace and breathe out your troubles as you continue to relax hear Moses' words for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways know that you can rest in perfect peace because God has commanded his angels to watch over you please let me pray for you Holy Father thank you for peaceful sleep which I claim for your beloved child in the name of Jesus help them to let go of all their worries and fears their concerns and distractions anything that would keep them from experiencing your peace tonight I thank you for your protection in the spiritual realm thank you that nothing can harm us or snatch us out of your hand we are grateful for your love and your mercy we are thankful for the poetry shared with us through the Psalms as you delivered peace to your servants of old deliver peace to your loved one today as this child of yours sleeps tonight I thank you for your protection over them and all who dwell in their home may they feel your presence and sense your love for them it's in the name of Jesus I pray amen I want you to imagine Moses just finishing the work of building the tabernacle in the desert how glorious he found his God how clearly he had felt God's presence and protection they had not perished in their wandering they had not been overcome by their enemies they had been led by the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day they had been kept by God and Moses rejoiced he knew where his help had come from it had come from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth I am going to read the entire psalm for you tonight and I pray that you will find it in the precious promises God gives he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday a thousand may fall at your side 10,000 at your right hand but it will not come near you 
you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. And then hear the Lord's answer in Moses' next words. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. abiding with God sheltering in his presence imagine being in a castle tall and strong built on a hill no enemy can reach you no harm can come to you arrows fly toward you but the ramparts deflect them he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust dear one he is our strong fortress we abide in him we take up our shield of faith in our God whom we trust no fiery arrows will find us we are safe we are in his strong arms rest in that truth tonight as you walk along the path of life sometimes the way is dark hunters seek you traps surround you but God has promised that you will not be captured nothing can snatch you out of his hands for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence though evil surrounds you you will not fall prey to it God is your deliverer snuggle into God's presence like a baby bird protected by the wings of its mother soft down encases you no predator can touch you God's strong arms enfold you feel the softness of his loving care he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler night and day you abide in the presence of God he provides he protects you can be at perfect peace because these are God's promises to you the terror of the night is not to be feared the arrows of the day cannot touch you all the evil that seeks to devour you will be turned away you will not be destroyed God is always 
by your side you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday when you see the wicked falling by your side you don't have to fear when you feel overwhelmed by your enemies God has not left you let him fight your battle you live in his perfect peace a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked you belong to the Lord Jesus you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit of God you abide in the vine and all that you do is appointed by him and protected by him you have made the choice to live in his presence to dwell not just with him but in him because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the Most High who is my refuge no evil shall be allowed to befall you no plague come near your tent imagine angels not with harps and wings but with the glory of the Lord shining on them they have been given the job of protecting you of being by your side of keeping you from harm because you are a precious child of God the evil one knows this he used these words to try to tempt Jesus in the desert for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you have the authority in Jesus's name to fight every attack of the enemy take every thought captive let the peace of Christ fill you as you rest in the assurance that you will spend eternity with God no matter what the Spirit guarantees it you are his you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot let these closing words of the Lord cover you like a warm blanket as you fall deeply asleep tonight because he holds fast to me in love I will deliver him I will protect him because he knows my name when he calls to me I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation sleep in peace beloved of God he is with you he is protecting you he loves you so very very much for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation 
will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock father God as you have promised to do watch over your beloved child as they sleep tonight wash away all their fear in the fountain of your peace let the song you are singing over them keep them in peaceful sleep all night long remember your promises to them O Lord that you would bless them and keep them that you would make your face to shine upon them and be gracious to them that you would lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace we love you Lord we abide in your shadow we will find rest beneath your wings we glory in your presence amen rest peacefully now beloved and may you wake refreshed and restored in the morning as you prepare for sleep tonight relax into your bed let the worries of your day drift away with each slow deep breath that you take breathe in peace and comfort breathe out stress worry and distractions let your head sink into your pillow pull your covers up and tuck them securely around you keeping your breath slow and steady hear your heartbeat let its rhythm calm you now take inventory of your muscles and let each one relax your legs your abdomen your shoulders and your neck close your eyes and release your tension take a slow breath in and out and again in and out as you breathe in say in your spirit my refuge and my fortress and as you breathe out say my God in whom I trust do that again several more times as you relax and believe that God is who he says he is as you continue to relax hear Moses's words for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways know that you can rest in perfect peace because God has commanded his angels to watch over you please let me pray for you Holy Father thank you for peaceful sleep which I claim for your beloved child in the name of Jesus help them to let go of all their worries and fears their concerns and distractions anything that would keep them from experiencing your peace tonight I thank you for your protection in the spiritual realm thank you that nothing can harm us or snatch us out of your hand we 
are grateful for your love and your mercy we are thankful for the poetry shared with us through the Psalms as you delivered peace to your servants of old deliver peace to your loved one today as this child of yours sleeps tonight I thank you for your protection over them and all who dwell in their home may they feel your presence and sense your love for them it's in the name of Jesus I pray amen I want you to imagine Moses just finishing the work of building the tabernacle in the desert how glorious he found his God how clearly he had felt God's presence and protection they had not perished in their wandering they had not been overcome by their enemies they had been led by the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day they had been kept by God and Moses rejoiced he knew where his help had come from it had come from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth I am going to read the entire psalm for you tonight and I pray that you will find it in the precious promises God gives he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the Most High who is my refuge no evil shall be allowed to befall you no plague come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot and then hear the Lord's answer in Moses's next words because he holds fast to me in love I will deliver him I will protect him because he knows my name when he calls to me I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation abiding with God sheltering in his presence imagine being in a castle tall and strong built on a hill no enemy can reach you no harm can come to you arrows fly toward you but the ramparts deflect them 
he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust dear one he is our strong fortress we abide in him we take up our shield of faith in our God whom we trust no fiery arrows will find us we are safe we are in his strong arms rest in that truth tonight as you walk along the path of life sometimes the way is dark hunters seek you traps surround you but God has promised that you will not be captured nothing can snatch you out of his hands for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence though evil surrounds you you will not fall prey to it God is your deliverer snuggle into God's presence like a baby bird protected by the wings of its mother soft down encases you no predator can touch you God's strong arms enfold you feel the softness of his loving care he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler night and day you abide in the presence of God he provides he protects you can be at perfect peace because these are God's promises to you the terror of the night is not to be feared the arrows of the day cannot touch you all the evil that seeks to devour you will be turned away you will not be destroyed God is always by your side you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday when you see the wicked falling by your side you don't have to fear when you feel overwhelmed by your enemies God has not left you let him fight your battle you live in his perfect peace a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked you belong to the Lord Jesus you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit of God you abide in the vine and all that you do is appointed by him and protected by him you have made the choice to live in his presence to dwell not just with him but in him because you have made the Lord your dwelling place the Most High who is my refuge no evil shall be allowed to befall you no plague come near your tent imagine angels not with harps and wings 
but with the glory of the Lord shining on them they have been given the job of protecting you of being by your side of keeping you from harm because you are a precious child of God the evil one knows this he used these words to try to tempt Jesus in the desert for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you have the authority in Jesus's name to fight every attack of the enemy take every thought captive let the peace of Christ fill you as you rest in the assurance that you will spend eternity with God no matter what the Spirit guarantees it you are his you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot let these closing words of the Lord cover you like a warm blanket as you fall deeply asleep tonight because he holds fast to me in love I will deliver him I will protect him because he knows my name when he calls to me I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation sleep in peace beloved of God he is with you he is protecting you he loves you so very very much for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock father God as you have promised to do watch over your beloved child as they sleep tonight wash away all their fear in the fountain of your peace let the song you are singing over them keep them in peaceful sleep all night long remember your promises to them O Lord that you would bless them and keep them that you would make your face to shine upon them and be gracious to them that you would lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace we love you Lord we abide in your shadow we will find rest beneath your wings we glory in your presence amen rest peacefully now beloved and may you wake refreshed and restored in the morning it was the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts who reminded the people of Lystra that God's goodness could always be counted on 
he encouraged them to turn away from worthless things things that could not be counted on and turn to the living God now Lystra was an ancient village built upon a modest hill rising from the surrounding plains of Asia Minor with the grandeur of mountains to the west and to the south this Roman colony was mentioned as the hometown of Timothy one of the young men Paul mentored in his faith Paul visited Lystra on more than one occasion preaching the gospel and healing a man who had been lame from birth on one of his visits Paul encouraged the believers of Lystra that even though the Lord had allowed the nations to walk in their own ways he never left them without evidence of himself and his goodness God never left them even through trial and hardship the evidence of his goodness was all around them what an encouragement the evidence of God's goodness surrounds us as well it is seen in the illustrations of nature as each new day is yet another portrait of God's exquisite artistry from blue ocean tides and sandy beaches to flowering meadows and lush green forests God's goodness is evident to all be assured of God's goodness of his presence in your life no matter what is going on in the world the Lord is with you every step of the way allow that thought to surround you with peace tonight breathe softly in and out as Paul continued to encourage the believers in Lystra with the beautiful testimony of the Lord he pointed out that it is God who sends the rain provides good crops and gives joyful hearts to his beloved God sends the rain hear it falling gently from the clouds to water the earth like small pebbles hitting the ground in a cadence of rhythmic wonder sometimes the raindrops fall so softly they can barely be heard other times sheets of rain come in waves and torrents cascading down like a waterfall from heaven yet each drop fulfills its purpose offering much needed moisture to the dry and thirsty ground the earth drinks in the rain and silently begs for more let the showers of God's goodness fall gently on your soul tonight drink in the sweetness of his presence
inhale and exhale not only does the Lord water the ground he cultivates the earth causing good crops to burst forth and grow as sustenance for his people in various places fields of grain spread out like quilts across the landscape some of the fields are circular some are square and some are shaped like pieces of a puzzle each crop provides what is needed for that region as you gaze upon the fields from above you see that some are deep green like emeralds dotting the landscape these include clover parsley and fennel other crops appear like vast treasures of pure gold they sway in the wind waving their greeting to the passerby wheat corn oats and rye fields of grain sustenance good and perfect gifts from our father in heaven bask in the abundant blessings of the Lord tonight continue to breathe gently in and out in steady rhythm allowing your body to fully relax inhale and exhale as I pray over you good and gracious Lord thank you for your presence tonight you are good you are holy I thank you for this listener who has invited your spirit to cover them as they sleep please help them rest deeply in your goodness knowing that you are with them bless them Lord with peace in the precious name of your son I pray sense the soothing calming presence of the Lord tonight breathe in his goodness breathe out all your cares He is with you. Paul finished his message to the people in Lystra by reminding them that God is the giver of joyful hearts. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill your heart with joy tonight it is his good and perfect gift to you he has joy in abundance it is a fruit that never fails to be produced in the heart that fully trusts in him oh taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man who trusts in him taste and see the Lord is good trust in him and be blessed you can trust in the goodness of God
breathe softly in and out allow the comfort of the Holy Spirit to wash over you he gives you the deepest sense of peace not as the world gives but deeper peace than anything you've ever known in the book of Exodus we read that the Lord God is merciful and gracious long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth let those truths seek deep into your heart he is merciful he is gracious he is patient he is full of truth and he is so so good rest in these beautiful descriptions of God tonight as you gaze into the heavens on a starry night there is no doubt that the glory of the Lord fills every bit of space unwavering unchanging for every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows every good and perfect gift comes from the father let that promise reassure your heart tonight the father of the heavenly lights does not change like shifting shadows as the hymnist said there is no shadow of turning with thee hear the soft melody of those words there is no shadow of turning with thee remain in the comfort of God's unfailing love stay in the presence of his spirit rest in the silence for several moments God does not change he remains steadfast and true to his word you can rely on him you can trust in his goodness for every good and perfect gift comes from the father slow your breathing in and out softly gently deeply God is so good to us I am reminded of the simple chorus God is so good God is so good God is so good he's so good to me The evidence of his goodness is all around you it envelops you like a soft cloud of comfort sink deeper under the covers relax every muscle in your body inhale and exhale 
as I pray over you most merciful God full of grace I pray over your beloved child tonight I ask that you blanket them with peace as they rest securely in you help them settle into the deepest of sleep so that they will awaken refreshed and restored thank you good good father for being with them tonight in Jesus name amen the Psalms were the songbook of the people of God after the life of King David they were sung some 3,000 years ago by men and women who knew all about the miracles of God these men and women may have even witnessed young David slay Goliath with a single stone their ancestors would have experienced the crossing of the Red Sea and the giving of the Ten Commandments as we read Psalm 100 now from the New International Version imagine yourself worshiping with God's people in Jerusalem in ancient Israel the day is mostly sunny and cool a breeze from the north massages your skin as you walk on a dusty path toward the temple in Jerusalem this walk usually takes about 10 minutes but today you're taking your time enjoying God's creation on this scenic day overhead a small puffy cloud drifts gently across a navy blue sky like a tiny sailboat crossing the Mediterranean Sea just below the cloud an eagle unmistakable for its wide wingspan and tail as white as the snow is enjoying the day too gliding through the breeze and hunting for its next meal it dominates the sky and no other bird dare enter its territory the eagle reminds you of a story from the Pentateuch how God rescued your people from the Egyptians carrying you on eagles wings and bringing you to himself you say a prayer of thanks up ahead you see on your path a small furry mammal a brownish gray hyrax is searching for cover it looks like a cross between a rabbit and guinea pig yet without the big big ears or bushy tail these creatures always make you chuckle and today is no different it's chasing an elusive small insect that gets away and hides under a tiny rock the hyrax appears dejected but then darts under its own protective boulder after all there's a hungry eagle flying high above near the end of your path you pass an olive tree and enjoy the sights and sounds of a Sinai rosefinch a bird as colorful as its name its head and chest boast multiple shades of red as if God himself painted it with a thousand roses in the Garden of Eden before touching it to fly this rosefinch is cheerful just chirping away as you slowly pass by you're hoping it doesn't fly away thankfully it doesn't notice you and it stays perched on a small branch beautifully chirping and singing as if it knows it's time to worship a few minutes later you arrive outside the temple it's the temple built by Solomon the home to the Ark of the Covenant and the Ten Commandments given by God to Moses on Mount Sinai that thought alone gives you chills of God's very presence the temple itself is magnificent 180 feet long 90 feet wide 
and 50 feet high or 55 meters long, 27 meters wide, and 15 meters wide. It's solid stone, and it's the largest building around. A glorious structure for a very worthy God. The smell of wildflowers, lavender, and lilies fills the air. You take in a deep breath and breathe out. The aroma is unforgettable. Finally, you enter the temple. Inside, in the courtyard, several hundred people already have gathered to worship. People are smiling and laughing. You join the crowd. Several people greet you and say hello. You smile and say hello back. Suddenly, the sound of trumpets fills the air, followed by drums and cymbals. You've heard this melody and rhythm before, but it always sparks emotions in you, even tears of joy. It's the sound of God's people worshiping. Everyone begins singing in unison. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. You can feel God's presence in the temple. He has blessed your people and he has blessed you too with food, with friends and family, with peace, with safety. He revealed himself with signs and wonders, saved his people out of Egypt and has promised to take care of you forever most of all he has blessed you by giving you hope for eternity you think about your many blessings as the trumpets continue playing all across the courtyard God's people lift their hands to heaven and sing shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the Lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the Lord is God it is he who made us and we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations do you ever wish you were as blessed as the people of Israel were Did you know you already are? They looked forward to the coming Messiah, but you know Christ. You are living in the days they long to see. As I read Psalm 100 again, listen to it as a letter from God, as a guidebook for life. After each verse or two, I will stop and pray for you. 
shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the Lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs father God you are worship of worship all the earth praises your name Jews and Gentiles people of all nations and languages you are the source of joy and gladness the reason that we sing without you Lord we would be lost help this child of yours feel blessed help them to be thankful for what you have given them give them peace now know that the Lord is God it is he who made us and we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture father God you created a universe with billions of galaxies and trillions and trillions of stars it's bigger than anything I can comprehend and yet you also created this precious person listening to my voice tonight and you care for them just like a good loving shepherd cares for his sheep when they go astray you bring them back to the fold when they need provisions you provide for them just like the psalm says this child of God belongs to you they are yours thank you father we love you enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name dear father because of your grace and mercy we can come boldly before you thank you for your son's sacrifice on the cross father thank you for the many ways you have blessed this child of yours with food and clothes with companionship with a place to sleep you are a friend who will never abandon them you will always be there but most of all thank you for forgiving their sins for saving their soul thank you for being their shepherd your love never ends God and you have promised to be with them forever for the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations father you are holy you are righteous you are perfect and you are good there is no God like you Lord as Moses once sang who is like you O Lord among the gods who is like you majestic in holiness awesome in glorious deeds doing wonders your love endures forever father you always keep your promises you cannot lie you are faithful to all generations I ask that you will bless your precious child now help them feel loved be with them in a mighty way help them feel your presence and peace like never before and it's in Jesus' name that I pray amen as you fall asleep now let this psalm be your song of peace tonight shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the Lord with gladness 
come before him with joyful songs know that the Lord is God it is he who made us and we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the Lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the Lord is God it is he who made us and we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations you are blessed you are loved the God of the universe the same God who made the moon and stars is protecting you right now just like a shepherd guards his sheep he created you and he so loves you as the psalm says you are his you belong to God you are his child much like a loving father or mother cares for a child God is caring for you even now accept God's gift of peace and sleep abide in his presence rest in the arms of Almighty God Heavenly Father as your beloved child lies down to sleep may they rest in your arms help them to trust you with their life and give them the perfect peace that you promise to those who fix their thoughts on you I ask tonight for your favor and protection as they sleep guard their thoughts and their dreams tonight bring stillness to their mind and peace to their heart as they go to bed be present in their dreams let them dream of your dwelling place and find comfort in your presence may they trust in you loving and gracious father amen with your eyes closed and your mind free from worry or concern let the words of Psalm 84 wash over you how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts my soul longs yes faints for the courts of the Lord my heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars O Lord of hosts my King and my God blessed are those who dwell in your house ever singing your praise to dwell is to remain it is a place where you have the freedom and feel the safety to stay the dwelling place of God is such a beautiful thought to consider 
a place where God's presence would choose to dwell is a place of rest peace and ultimate freedom in the Old Testament the temple also called the tabernacle was the dwelling place of God in fact the very words used in this psalm mean tabernacle it was here in this place that the people of God could find rest and freedom in the ability to connect with him it is where the priests of God would meet with him on behalf of all the people it is where sin was forgiven and freedom was found it was their refuge it must have been quite lovely indeed let your soul find this same refuge in the presence of God tonight Psalm 84 is one of the Psalms that come from the sons of Korah the sons of Korah were a family of singers a lineage of people dedicated to giving praise to God in the temple the songs they would sing have been preserved in God's Word and have continued to be sung by his people for thousands of years you may have sung along with the sons of Korah without even knowing they wrote verses such as Psalm 42 as the deer pants for streams of water so my soul longs after God in Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble therefore we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy place where the most high dwells these treasured words of the sons of Korah have given God's people an opportunity to sing his praises and glorify his name no matter what their circumstances God thank you for preserving the songs of the sons of Korah in the Psalms how lovely it is to sing along with them joining the chorus of your people for generations and in Psalm 84 they give you a picture of how precious and dear the dwelling place of God truly is it is where God's presence can be found it is abundant and rich and accessible to his people how lovely indeed the dwelling place of God looks different for God's people now than it did thousands of years ago and so for the people of Israel who did not have personal access to the presence of God like believers do now the temple was everything for people without constant access to God they needed something they could count on the temple as the dwelling place of God was their safety and salvation many traveled annually from wherever they lived to visit the temple imagine that you are on such a journey a journey to the most wonderful peaceful place imaginable you are making your way to the dwelling place of God a place where you can sing along with the sons of Korah and give worship and praise to God 
as the deer pants for streams of water so my soul longs after God let your soul long after God as you fall asleep tonight and as you long imagine now that you are making your way along the sandy path you are walking through the city towards the beloved lovely temple of God feel the heat of the Sun as you walk along the path begin the journey up the mountain towards the temple feel the drip of sweat on your brow the exhaustion from the long journey allow the longing you feel to be in his courts in the lovely dwelling place of God to bring you endurance to finish the journey the place you most long to be is drawing nearer with every step imagine who may have joined you on this journey look around you as you seek the presence of God with the ones you love here the collective song of those journeying with you together singing the songs of the sons of Korah and join them as they sing how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts my soul longs yes faints for the courts of the Lord you are drawing near the courts of the Lord are close and getting closer your journey will be worth it even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars O Lord of hosts my King and my God consider the birds that come to the altar of God they too find refuge in his presence though the sparrow and swallow can explore the expanse of the sky they return to his altar they return to the temple they return to his dwelling place and we the children of God though we come and go in many aspects of our lives we return to God our refuge and find safety in his dwelling place Oh Heavenly Father thank you for caring for your child even more than the way you care for the birds of the air we see the way you know and provide for them and in that we find rest and comfort that you will care for and provide for your child as they rest right now look up at the sky and admire these birds known by God and cared for by him as you come ever closer to the temple feel the sandy path beneath your feet change to hardened dirt well-trodden roads look at the greenery increasing around you admire the variety of the trees you see see the tall full body of the deep green cedars and cypress trees pause in the shade of the umbrella like acacias pause in the shade of the umbrella like acacias giving you a respite on your journey admire the twisted roots of the juniper trees smell the scent of the olive trees let it draw you closer 
step closer to admire the radiance of the wildflowers. See the stark white against the bright green stems, the bright yellow, the richness of the red, the blue that mirrors the sky. Listen to the sound of the birds. Listen to their song and sing along. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! Blessed are those whose strength is in you, and whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God and Zion. The valley of Baca represents a valley of weeping. As you journey towards the dwelling place of God, you know that you have come through the valley. Your journey was long and arduous, but you have come through it. Feel the victory of making your way through the valley. Feel the relief of making it level ground. Let the burdens of your weeping lift and leave them in the hands of your God. For your heart is on the highway to Zion. You are drawing near to his temple. Your mourning will be turned to dancing just as he will make the valley of weeping into a place of springs. Find rest in this, in God's promise to you, and sing unto him, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! God, Thank you for carrying your precious child through the valleys of their life. We know that you do not abandon us in times of trouble. You journey with us and give us strength. Would you set the heart of your child on the highway to Zion? Turn their affections towards you. We rest in you, O oh God. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, Blessed is the one who trusts in you. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. How lovely must a place be for one single day as a door holder to be better than a thousand days anywhere else. How marvelous to imagine a place so peaceful and healing and refreshing. To long for just a moment. Consider again the one place in the world you would most like to wake up to. It might be special to you as your childhood home, the place you grew up loving with memories in every room. You might long for the comfort of knowing who you share that space with. Or you 
may long to wake up in a foreign city you once visited. And the thought of waking up and strolling along streets that hold treasured memories of a long-awaited vacation fills your heart with joy and anticipation. Just imagining it puts you back in that city, listening to the sound of a foreign language. Reach into your pocket and feel the coins that look nothing like the money you carry at home. Walk along the river and admire the gondolas floating by, with people laughing and enjoying one another. Smell the fresh bread coming from the bakery across the street. The anatomy of longing is the wonder that there are places that evoke in you a sense of safety, peace, wonder, and joy. Heavenly Father, we want to sing in agreement that just one day in your presence is better than a thousand elsewhere. Help your child to treasure your presence as they find rest in you. Yes, the places we long to return to here on earth are lovely indeed. But if one day is better than a thousand, how much more beautiful is the place that holds the presence of God? Imagine now that you are approaching the temple. Listen to the changing sound of your steps as you move from the sandy gravel that has led you along the majority of this journey to granite you long anticipated reaching. Feel as it changes to the hard stone beneath your feet. As you draw near, notice the sounds that are changing from the few voices of those journeying with you to the sound of a bustling crowd in the temple courts. Oh, listen to the sound of singing as many sing praises to God. They have finally arrived. Listen to the chatter coming from the courts. Hear the diversity of language in the voices of many who have come from near and far, seeking along with you to meet God in his dwelling place. Look at the variety of people who have traveled to this precious place. See mothers with babies swaddled to their chests and little hands holding theirs as they walk. See the joy in the eyes of the gray haired men and women. After longing all their lives, they have made it. See the fathers holding tight to their little ones as they make their way through the crowd. See friends laugh together as they agree the journey was well worth it. And with many from all over join their song. Together they sing. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. That place you most long to be, it is nothing compared to the wonder of God's presence. For the safety, peace, wonder, and joy that you long for is found most fully in His presence. Find safety in the comfort of a God who sees you and protects you. Find peace in a God who is for you and near to you. Find wonder in the majesty of a God more extravagant than you could ever imagine. Find joy 
and a God who delights in you and brings you good things for his name's sake for even 1,000 days in your most treasured destination could not compare to the majesty found in the temple of God how lovely is his dwelling place for even the most celebrated position or greatest honor pales in comparison to that of a doorkeeper in the temple of God for the doorkeeper is immersed in his presence the doorkeeper is surrounded by his nearness the doorkeeper is resting secure in the peace that surpasses all understanding enter into his presence and find this peace in the Old Testament the temple that we've been talking about was the actual dwelling place of God the place where his presence would abide but things are different now things are different because when Jesus came on the scene everything changed and when Jesus ascended into heaven he promised to leave us his Holy Spirit as a believer in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ you are now the dwelling place of God because the Holy Spirit dwells within you salvation was won by Jesus on the cross and he sent the promised Holy Spirit to dwell within you your access to the dwelling place of God is not predicated on an arduous journey to the temple it does not depend on your ability to be in the right place at the right time instead your access to the dwelling place of God is promised to you by a gracious father for the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead now dwells in you oh how lovely it is no longer a journey you must make it's just a reality for you to recognize you are the dwelling place of God what a profound shift the God of heaven came near to us in the person of Jesus and now he dwells in us through the Holy Spirit how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts how profound that you choose to dwell in your beloved Father God it is a privilege beyond what we can comprehend and I pray that your child will recognize the gift of the Holy Spirit in dwelling within them we cling to your presence knowing that in you we find rest peace grace and joy to carry us through our days no matter what your journey looks like day by day no matter what fills your schedule what relationships you have or what work you do you have access to the presence of God here and now find rest in the promise that the presence of God is no longer a destination for you to reach only by an arduous journey but rather the presence of God is a treasured companion through all of your journeying for all of your days take a deep breath as you give thanks for the profound gift God has given you 
not only in his son Jesus but in his promised Holy Spirit find rest in the joy accessible to you as you journey through the valleys and peaks of your life sing praise for the promise that you do not have to endure the pain of your journey alone the Holy Spirit your companion journeys with you to bring you strength to give you peace to establish you in hope and to sustain you with love thank God for this gift and ask him to make you aware of his presence as you sleep tonight and throughout your day tomorrow ask him to wake you with a sensitivity to his spirit that will carry you through whatever tomorrow holds God we rest in the peace offered to us by your Holy Spirit now receive this blessing from number 6 24 through 26 the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace sleep peacefully in Christ tonight as you dream of his dwelling place rest in the profound gift of being known and loved by the God of all creation find delight in the safety peace wonder and joy that you experience in his presence for his dwelling place is a promise and it is lovely indeed and now please allow me to pray over you tonight Heavenly Father with our whole heart mind and soul we rest in your presence for in you we find peace Lord I pray specifically for this listener tonight that they will be able to let go of all worries all pressing concerns and find true rest in you please Lord give them the assurance that you are with them that you are covering them that their life is in your hands please whisper your truth over them and tell them that there is no need to fear there is no reason to lose sleep I pray that you will do a mighty work in the life of this beloved person wherever they are and whatever is going on I pray in the precious name of Jesus that they would be transformed into your likeness be refined as a vessel for your glory and be restored to walk faithfully with you I pray that they will sleep deeply tonight and rise in the morning refreshed and renewed I pray these things in the name of your son Amen our sleep meditation tonight encompasses Psalm 9 with words of praise from King David a song of his heart we are encouraged to offer our whole heart in worship and honor of the Living God let those words in worship and honor of the Living God sink deeply into your mind as you offer your whole heart to the Lord David begins this beautiful psalm by saying I will praise you O Lord 
with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Dear friend, seek the Lord. Put your trust in him and rest deeply in the comforting words of David tonight. Now, inhale and exhale. Let your breathing fall into a soft, steady rhythm as you begin to drift into peaceful sleep. Feel the presence of the Lord in the room. Feel his guard over you a hedge of protection. Allow yourself to rest in safety, provision and peace. Gracious God, there is no place we'd rather be than in your presence. Right here, right now, we ask for your covering against all the things the world presses on us. We ask for your shield of love and protection. Please, Father, settle our minds, our bodies and our whole hearts on your truth. Cast away all other thoughts as we find true rest in you tonight. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Hear the words of David again. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. You know, children have a way of saying exactly what's on their mind, honest and uninhibited. They are the ones who feel free to dance in the living room, sing at the top of their lungs and tell fantastical stories that their innocent minds have imagined. It's that childlike wonder that keeps them from bottling things up and holding back. Often, they put their whole heart into what they're doing as they play, imagine, dream, and worship God uninhibited. Allow that childlike wonder and freedom to flow through your own heart and mind tonight. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. The late gospel singer Aretha Franklin was just a girl when she recorded an album called Songs of Faith. She recalled singing in her father's church and developing a love for music and worship that followed her throughout her life. She even recalled a time when she and her older sister were driving in the south at night. A particular song came over the radio and the girls stopped the car, got out and actually danced 
on the highway. It's that kind of sweet abandon that the Lord desires of our praise. Allow that imagery to settle over you for a few moments. Lord God, you are worthy to be praised. With our whole heart, mind, soul and strength, you deserve to be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Let the walls fall down, Lord, as we come before you uninhibited. Remove the obstacles that prevent us from praising you with childlike faith. With each restful breath we take, renew in us a heart for you. Fill our dreams with visions of being in your company, telling you exactly what is on our hearts and singing with joy in sweet abandon to you. Please remove the hindrances that keep us from loving you with our whole heart. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Breathe in the goodness of the Lord. He loves you. Do you know that? His love reaches far beyond the heavens. There is no limit for his love. You are never beyond his reach. Rest here. Remain in the Lord's presence. Linger in his love. Abide with him. The Lord welcomes you like a little child. In Jesus' own words, he said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Like a precious child, rest unhindered in the arms of Jesus tonight. Listen to the words of this old hymn. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust him more. Trust in the one who loves you, who keeps his word, who showers you with grace and mercy. O Lord our God, full of grace and mercy undeserved, I pray over this child tonight as they find tranquil rest in you. Please allow your peace to fall on them like a soft blanket. Enclose them in the assurance of your love, like a father who wraps his child gently in his arms. Cradle them in your peace. Let them know they are loved by you. In the sweet name of your son Jesus, I pray. In the words of the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, we read this about God's grace and compassion. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. The Lord longs to be gracious to you. Sleep soundly, 
in the presence of his grace. Pause for three. He will rise up to show you compassion. Rise up, O Lord, on behalf of your loved one tonight. Blessed are all who wait for him. Wait now in the presence of the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, who blesses you with peace. I will praise you with my whole heart. Nothing will get in the way. No sickness, toil or worry will prevent my worship today. I will praise you with my whole heart amidst the dark of night. For you alone deserve my praise, my hope, my strength, my light. I will praise you with my whole heart, in wakefulness and sleep, in childlike faith I trust you, my heart forever to keep. Heavenly Father, keeper of our hearts, please abide with your beloved child tonight as they sleep soundly in your care flow through their dreamful state of mind with words of truth and steadfast promises. Turn all of their troubled thoughts into songs of praise. With their whole heart, mind, soul and strength, may your child rest in you. Softly and tenderly, as Jesus calls their name, I pray this listener will heed your call and be restored to a childlike faith and trust in you. For it is in the precious name of Jesus I pray these things. Amen and Amen. As you get settled into bed, focus on relaxing your body from head to toe. Release the tension in your neck and shoulders. Settle your head onto the pillow and pull the covers over you. Take a few deep breaths in and out. With each breath in, focus on receiving the peace and presence of the Lord. And with each breath out, let go of all distracting thoughts. Invite the Holy Spirit to be with you, the one who brings peace and gentleness into the room who surrounds you with love and goodness, remember. He is the very presence of God. And now, please allow me to pray over you tonight. Heavenly Father, with our whole heart, mind and soul, we rest in your presence for in you we find peace. Lord, I pray specifically for this listener tonight that they will be able to let go of all worries, all pressing concerns, and find true rest in you. Please, Lord, give them the assurance that you are with them, that you are covering them, that their life is in your hands. Please whisper your truth over them and tell them that there is no need to fear. There is no reason to lose sleep. 
I pray that you will do a mighty work in the life of this beloved person. Wherever they are, and whatever is going on, I pray in the precious name of Jesus that they would be transformed into your likeness, be refined as a vessel for your glory, and be restored to walk faithfully with you. I pray that they will sleep deeply tonight and rise in the morning refreshed and renewed. I pray these things in the name of your Son. Amen. Our sleep meditation tonight encompasses Psalm 9 with words of praise from King David, a song of his heart. We are encouraged to offer our whole heart in worship and honour of the living God. Let those words, in worship and honour of the living God, sink deeply into your mind as you offer your whole heart to the Lord. David begins this beautiful psalm by saying, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Dear friend, seek the Lord. Put your trust in him and rest deeply in the comforting words of David tonight. Now, inhale and exhale. Let your breathing fall into a soft, steady rhythm as you begin to drift into peaceful sleep. Feel the presence of the Lord in the room. Feel his guard over you, a hedge of protection. Allow yourself to rest in safety, provision and peace. Gracious God, there is no place we'd rather be than in your presence. Right here, right now, we ask for your covering. Against all the things the world presses on us, we ask for your shield of love and protection. Please, Father, settle our minds, our bodies, and our whole hearts on your truth. Cast away all other thoughts as we find true rest in you tonight. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Hear the words of David again. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. You know, children have a way of saying exactly what's on their mind. Honest, 
and uninhibited. They are the ones who feel free to dance in the living room, sing at the top of their lungs, and tell fantastical stories that their innocent minds have imagined. It's that childlike wonder that keeps them from bottling things up and holding back. Often, they put their whole heart into what they're doing as they play, imagine, dream, and worship God uninhibited. Allow that childlike wonder and freedom to flow through your own heart and mind tonight. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. The late gospel singer Aretha Franklin was just a girl when she recorded an album called Songs of Faith. She recalled singing in her father's church and developing a love for music and worship that followed her throughout her life. She even recalled a time when she and her older sister were driving in the south at night. A particular song came over the radio and the girls stopped the car, got out and actually danced on the highway. It's that kind of sweet abandon that the Lord desires of our praise. Allow that imagery to settle over you for a few moments. Lord God, you are worthy to be praised. With our whole heart, mind, soul and strength, you deserve to be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Let the walls fall down, Lord, as we come before you uninhibited. Remove the obstacles that prevent us from praising you with childlike faith. With each restful breath we take, renew in us a heart for you. Fill our dreams with visions of being in your company, telling you exactly what is on our hearts and singing with joy in sweet abandon to you. Please remove the hindrances that keep us from loving you with our whole heart. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Breathe in the goodness of the Lord. He loves you. Do you know that? His love reaches far beyond the heavens. There is no limit for his love. You are never beyond his reach. Rest here. Remain in the Lord's presence. Linger in his love. Abide with him. The Lord welcomes you like a little child. In Jesus' own words, he said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Like a precious child, rest unhindered in the arms of Jesus tonight. Listen to the words of this old hymn. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er oh and o'er. Oh. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for grace 
to trust him more. Trust in the one who loves you, who keeps his word, who showers you with grace and mercy. O Lord our God, full of grace and mercy undeserved, I pray over this child tonight as they find tranquil rest in you. Please allow your peace to fall on them like a soft blanket. Enclose them in the assurance of your love, like a father who wraps his child gently in his arms. Cradle them in your peace. Let them know they are loved by you. In the sweet name of your Son, Jesus, I pray. In the words of the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, we read this about God's grace and compassion. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. The Lord longs to be gracious to you. Sleep soundly in the presence of his grace. Pause for three. He will rise up to show you compassion. Rise up, O Lord, on behalf of your loved one tonight. Blessed are all who wait for him. Wait now in the presence of the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, who blesses you with peace. I will praise you with my whole heart. Nothing will get in the way. No sickness, toil or worry will prevent my worship today. I will praise you with my whole heart amidst the dark of night. For you alone deserve my praise, my hope, my strength, my light. I will praise you with my whole heart in wakefulness and sleep. In childlike faith I trust you, my heart forever to keep. Heavenly Father, keeper of our hearts, please abide with your beloved child tonight as they sleep soundly in your care. Flow through their dreamful state of mind with words of truth and steadfast promises. Turn all of their troubled thoughts into songs of praise. With their whole heart, mind, soul and strength, may your child rest in you. Softly and tenderly, as Jesus calls their name, I pray this listener will heed your call and be restored to a childlike faith and trust in you. For it is in the precious name of Jesus I pray these things. Amen and Amen. All across the globe tonight, soldiers and first responders stand watch to keep you safe. Some try to catch some shut-eye in unsafe forward regions. The conditions are uncomfortable. There's a military technique that is said to help anyone fall asleep in just two minutes. And it might just change your life. The US Army found that it worked for 96% of people who tried it over a period of six weeks. So you may need to come back to the sleep meditation a few times to find success. The technique is thought to have been developed by Army chiefs during World War II 
to ensure soldiers and pilots didn't make life-threatening mistakes due to exhaustion. For our brothers and sisters in harm's way, sleep is a weapon. The military sees sleep as a survival tactic. So tonight, prepare to do battle for the rest you need. The same can be said for civilians. A good night's rest is critical for our emotional and physical well-being. Tonight we focus on this decades-old technique of muscle relaxation, breathing, and visualization tricks anyone can do. Even the slightest glowing light can sabotage your sleep and make falling asleep more difficult. So make sure all the lights are out. Before we begin, let's pray. Jesus, I give you all of my fears, the darkest thoughts and the troubles of my heart. I lay all these things down at the foot of the cross. I choose to take the lightest path on this road with you, my comforter and my friend. I put my trust in you. I place all of my concerns into your hands. Lord, be in my dreams. Transform them as I sleep. For all the challenges and tugs on my heart, only you can safely keep. I wait on you to be my guide, my lead, and my defense. I serve only you and pray for peace. Lord Jesus, I ask that your endless grace would surround me every day. For you took all the brokenness of the world to the cross and rose again. Dear Lord, guard my mind, my heart, and my soul and lead me in the way of hope. As I serve, I lean on your wisdom, your love, and your strength. And look forward to the time when a day, and look forward to a time when a new day dawns and your glory reigns. Oh, my Lord, at this moment, all is calm and sleep beckons me in the name of Jesus amen with that get comfortable some people start by sitting on the edge of their bed while others crawl into bed. Tonight, we will work to relax all areas of your body, part by part. Maybe in your mind's eye, visualize a tired and weary soldier using these same techniques thousands of miles away, protecting your freedoms so you can live in peace. The journey to a place of rest for your soul begins with scripture and prayer. In Psalm 116, 5 through 7, the psalmist writes, Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. We do not know the exact nature of the psalmist's prayer request, but we do know that his life seemed to be in danger in some way. 
and he is grateful to God for rescue for answering his prayer knowing that you are protected by God breathe slowly deeply and regularly take all the wrinkles out of your forehead relax your scalp just let go now let your jaw sag let it drop open relax the rest of your face muscles even relax your tongue and lips just let them go loose breathe slowly gently relax your facial muscles first tighten them up in a wincing motion and then slowly let your muscles naturally loosen and let your tongue fall in any which way in your mouth once your face feels like a deflated piece of putty let the gravity pull your shoulders naturally down toward the ground let your arms dangle too one side at a time while doing this breathe in and out listening to the sound of your breath Jesus loves you very much he wants you to be rested to better serve him let's go after your arms talk directly to your arm muscles first talk to your right bicep tell it to relax go limp do the same to your right forearm and now to the right hand and fingers your arm should feel like a dead weight resting on your leg repeat the relaxation process with your left arm breathe slowly with each breath let your chest relax further and then let gravity relax your thighs and lower legs your entire upper body has been exposed to relaxation and a warm pleasant feeling comes over you you feel good a sense of well-being invades your body now for your lower body talk to your right thigh muscles let them go to a dead weight on the bed let the meat hang on the bones go through the same routine for the right calf muscles then all the muscles of your right ankle and foot tell your legs to totally relax first the left leg allow your leg to become heavy moving all the way down to your foot repeat the process with your right leg the thigh calf 
ankle and foot once your body feels like nothing more than a loosely formed lump of clay try to clear your mind of distractions if thoughts come naturally let them pass just keep your body loose and limp focus on Jesus your Messiah and comforter as you begin to nod off visualize that it is a warm spring day and you are lying in the bottom of a canoe on a very serene lake you're looking up at the blue sky with lazy floating clouds do not allow any other thought to creep in just concentrate on this picture and keep foreign thoughts out particularly thoughts with any movement or motion involved allow this relaxing moment to consume you you now are in a velvet hammock gently swaying in a pitch black room thinking about none of your earthly concerns focus only on the Lord Abba father push away all thoughts that might keep you from a restful sleep Jesus loves you so much that in Philippians 4 God's Word says do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with Thanksgiving present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus gracious is the Lord and righteous our God is merciful the Lord preserves the simple when I was brought low he saved me return O oh my soul to your rest for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you Almighty God we know that everything is in your sovereign control thank you God that you are with us always that your presence is mighty and you hear the prayers of this dear one I ask that you would show yourself strong on their behalf remind them that nothing is too difficult for you and you are leading and protecting them through the journey of life covering them in your care we know and believe beyond any doubt that your power and love will never fail Abba I, I petition you now to encamp your angels around this beloved one that no harm will come to your child or their household in the strong yet precious name of Jesus I pray amen
once again be covered by the words of the psalmist gracious is the Lord and righteous our God is merciful the Lord protects the simple when I was brought low he saved me return O my soul to your rest for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you for you have delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears my feet from stumbling As you drift into a deep sleep know that Jesus made the way so you could have a relationship with God and be with him forever may you rest in Christ get comfortable some people start by sitting on the edge of their bed while others crawl into bed tonight we will work to relax all areas of your body part by part maybe in your mind's eye visualize a tired and weary soldier using these same techniques thousands of miles away protecting your freedoms so you can live in peace the journey to a place of rest for your soul begins with scripture and prayer in Psalm 116 5 through 7 the psalmist writes gracious is the Lord and righteous our God is merciful the Lord preserves the simple when I was brought low he saved me return O my soul to your rest for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you we do not know the exact nature of the psalmist's prayer request but we do know that his life seemed to be in danger in some way and he is grateful to God for rescue for answering his prayer knowing that you are protected by God breathe slowly deeply and regularly take all the wrinkles out of your forehead relax your scalp just let go now let your jaw sag let it drop open relax the rest of your face muscles even relax your tongue and lips just let them go loose breathe slowly gently relax your facial muscles first tighten them up in a wincing motion and then slowly let your muscles naturally loosen and let your tongue fall in any which way in your mouth once your face feels like a deflated piece of putty let the gravity pull your shoulders naturally down toward the ground let your arms dangle too one side at a time while doing this breathe in and out listening to the sound of your breath 
Jesus loves you very much he wants you to be rested to better serve him let's go after your arms talk directly to your arm muscles first talk to your right bicep tell it to relax go limp do the same to your right forearm and now to the right hand and fingers your arm should feel like a dead weight resting on your leg repeat the relaxation process with your left arm breathe slowly with each breath let your chest relax further and then let gravity relax your thighs and lower legs your entire upper body has been exposed to relaxation and a warm pleasant feeling comes over you you feel good a sense of well-being invades your body now for your lower body talk to your right thigh muscles let them go to a dead weight on the bed let the meat hang on the bones go through the same routine for the right calf muscles then all the muscles of your right ankle and foot tell your legs to totally relax first the left leg allow your leg to become heavy moving all the way down to your foot repeat the process with your right leg the thigh calf ankle and foot once your body feels like nothing more than a loosely formed lump of clay try to clear your mind of distractions if thoughts come naturally let them pass just keep your body loose and limp focus on Jesus your Messiah and comforter as you begin to nod off visualize that it is a warm spring day and you are lying in the bottom of a canoe on a very serene lake you're looking up at the blue sky with lazy floating clouds do not allow any other thought to creep in just concentrate on this picture and keep foreign thoughts out particularly thoughts with any movement or motion involved allow this relaxing moment to consume you you now are in a velvet hammock gently swaying in a pitch black room thinking about none of your earthly concerns focus only on the Lord Abba father push away all thoughts 
that might keep you from a restful sleep. Jesus loves you so much that in Philippians 4, God's word says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, He saved me. Return, O oh my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Almighty God, we know that everything is in your sovereign control. Thank you, God, that you are with us always, that your presence is mighty, and you hear the prayers of this dear one. I ask that you would show yourself strong on their behalf. Remind them that nothing is too difficult for you and you are leading and protecting them through the journey of life covering them in your care we know and believe beyond any doubt that your power and love will never fail Abba I petition you now to encamp your angels around this beloved one that no harm will come to your child or their household in the strong yet precious name of Jesus I pray amen once again be covered by the words of the psalmist Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord protects the simple. When I was brought low, He saved me. Return, O oh my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears my feet from stumbling as you drift into a deep sleep know that Jesus made the way so you could have a relationship with God and be with him forever may you rest in Christ. We hope this Bible reading brought you peace. To listen to more Christian meditations, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store.